Oh, hello, internet friends. I'm just enjoying a lovely piece of ice cream cake because it's my birthday. Happy birthday, Ezra. Happy birthday. We're gonna sing the song. Happy birthday to I am you. Not, I'm not gonna try singing over Zoom. It never lines up right. Nope. Yeah. Never eat on camera. Oh, man. <laughs> um, thank you. Whoa. All right, well, there you go. No. <laughs> Uh, just keep telling yourself it's your birthday and you're fine. Uh, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, it is awesome to be here. I'm all hopped up on ice cream cake uh, and <laughs> I think it's gonna be a fun night. We have just a few quick announcements to get through. Uh, I will hit these and we'll get through it. We're gonna do, uh, we'll start with the big news. Tonight, we're gonna do four giveaways throughout the night, including right now. So Ooh. that was a surprise for Amy. <laughs> no, actually, I was just super excited because I'm actually prepared for it. Oh, look at that. Look All right. You. So hashtag chaos right now. You're going to win a copy, a PDF copy, I admit, of the Call of Cthulhu, the official Call of Cthulhu coloring book. Here, this is going to really mess up my camera, but here is a sample of the Call of Cthulhu coloring book unspeakable things. That's from the Mass of Nyarlathotep page. Mm -hmm. So hashtag chaos. We have three more copies of the Call of Cthulhu coloring book. Wait, is that right? We have two more copies of the Call of Cthulhu coloring book. One of them's for you, YouTube. And at the break, we're giving away a copy of Harlem Unbound, the second what? edition, which is... <laughs> Sorry. Is, so, is someone giving a lot of birthday bids? Is that, is that why we're yelling? <laughs> There's, yeah, we've, no, got, we've, got, we've got a few people who've switched sides. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, that's outstanding. He doesn't need the help. He's going to murder us all anyway. Um, He's so, in the process of murdering us right now. Yeah, we're in the middle of fight here. I've been in the process of murdering you for like a year. Yeah, Fair. but you're like, you're, you're in like, you know, sixth gear right now. Or I'm playing with my food. I mean, the, <laughs> the, bits are what's the bits keep us alive. So you know, we, we can use those. Uh, so, as always, uh, most importantly of all, the best gift you can give anyone on their birthday, birds of paradise, our, our, our eternal first sponsor, the official dice of the Great Dane Society, uh, uh, birds of paradise, love them, use them. Nord Games, Nord Games, I think their Kickstarter is heading into the home stretch now. Um, I say that I haven't looked at it recently, but I know they've put up some very nice numbers, their miniatures uh, 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 one, and uh, we love Nord Games. They do great stuff, and uh, this is going to be, you can get a, a great discount off of everything Nord Games by going to their store. You can also get a great discount at Birds of Paradise by you entering our code in the store. There should be one in the chat there. Uh, we've got a full week of quests and chaos wackiness just for you, our internet viewers. Uh, Monday, it's Dragon of Ice Spire Peak. I um, I watched a little bit of the last episode and A, I want a Mimic spinoff. I think uh, the Mimic is the breakout character of that show. Mimi's we need merch. Mimi. Mimi is uh, uh, the, the breakout there uh, and uh, and I also think that uh, um, I, I just really enjoy the way that James runs a table. I think it's, um, he's got a good sense of when the rules matter and when they don't, which mm -hmm. um, I will politely say not all D&D GMs do. Um, and I, I really think that's a key to being a, a, a good GM. And he just runs a fun table. There's a lot of laughter. There's a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of there's a lot of everybody uh, uh, everybody wanting that, everybody working together at that table. And that is, uh, that's a sign of a good GM and a sign of a, 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 a fun table of players. Uh, so uh, Monday, Dragon of Ice Spire Peak, uh, awesome. Can't say enough good things about uh, uh, James's GMing. Speaking of GMs that I can't say anything about, Thomas is going to be running Chaos Agents on Tuesday. Um, I'm contractually, uh, according to the rules of the lawsuit, I can't say anything about his GMing. Uh, so uh, he'll be running Chaos Agents on Tuesday. They'll be doing whatever it is they do. Uh, I 
At this point, we're not even sure. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I mean, you know, it is interesting because it feels like, uh, not to not to make it sound like I actually watch this crap, but it sounds like, <laughs> you know, some storylines are starting to like come to, uh, you know, are starting to come to, to an end. And that, uh, you know, I think how you, how you end a story is, I think, super interesting. And especially how you end a story that has, um, as all of these stories have now so many authors, because in, in you know, when you're, when you're playing a game with your friends at the table, there are kind of six authors of the game. But when you're playing a game on, in a community like this, you know, all of a sudden, you're, I steal ideas from the chat. I know that other, I know that the other GMs do as well. And so, you know, they, the chat really, and the community becomes part of the, part of the story and part of the, uh, of the process. And so kind of how you end that sort of thing is a really interesting, um, you know, and not to say, you know, but I don't think it's spoiling anything. I, I'll only speak for ourselves. I think I've said it before, but we are, um, you know, we're closer to the end than we are to the beginning of our story. And I think the same is true of, uh, uh, in some form of chaos agents, um, which is, you know, an ending is just a new beginning. That's, you know, that's, uh, if the, if the Black Pharaoh has taught us nothing, it's just that, it, I mean, actually, if Emma has taught us nothing. There it is. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and let's be clear, Emma has taught us nothing. I mean, that's. It, like, that's also true. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah, so Tuesday, Chaos Agents, then we're back here on Saturday. Uh, one program note for our affiliates, October 17th, we are being, uh, uh, we are being preempted. The network has yanked us for a day for sweeps. There's like three people got that reference. It's really sad. Uh, I don't even think sweeps exist anymore, uh, but we are being preempted uh, because on October 17th, speaking of the community being the story, we're gonna be running a community mitten where members of our community are gonna be sitting in these, well, not these chairs because that'd be weird if they were in my house. Yeah. I'd, I'd have some questions. Like that's a terrible giveaway. You get to sit in Ezra's crappy chair in his weird wood paneled basement and play D and D. That is a crappy giveaway. Do not enter that giveaway. Uh, They'll be sitting in their have, chairs. Some people have gone to jail for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's how, that's why I'm not allowed to talk about Thomas's GMing. That's. Uh, <laughs> Because you broke into his house and sat in his DM chair? Look, we can play the blame game all you want. All I'm saying, it was a very cool. comfortable chair. <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, uh, they will be sitting in their own chairs, but they will be playing d and I'm guessing. So uh, uh, they, unfortunately for them. Uh, and so uh, it'll be members of the community. And I think we've already set up we had the drawing for who's going to be in the game, and it's all your favorite people you've never heard of. That's that's who's going to be playing. It's going to be outstanding. Um, I also want to shout out once again, um, I did it last week, but I want to shout out again. Lucifer Vilcek is starting a Vampire the Masquerade game in mm -hmm. uh, on our Discord. And uh, like I said last time, it was, uh, uh, it is going to be, I think it's really cool because he lives in Prague. Or, or near Prague, and in the sense that I live in San Francisco, I guess, but uh, <laughs> he lives in Prague and that's where the game is taking place. So the local flavor mm -hmm. is going to be uh, um, through the charts and Prague is already a super creepy, scary city. So just adding no, vampires not. in there. Prague at it's night. Fine. Is, it's fine. No, Prague actually is, it's totally fine, especially when you've been drinking all day. Yeah, you were drunk the whole time you were there. Nothing's creepy it when was, you're- Everything's fine. It's not creepy. Everything's totally fine. That's because Amy is Emma and just sort of sounds <laughs> in the places where angels were, would fear to tread. Nice. I mean, here's the thing. When you go to Prague, you have to drink the beer. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. You know, I feel like that's a Mad Lib and it's just when you go to place, you have to drink the beer. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That works really well. <laughs> no, only in Prague. That's in, everybody knows. Um, so, so like, never. also just really quickly. So, like, when you go to the living room, you have to. Drink <laughs> <beer>. <laughs> you know where they have great beer? The living room. When you uh, go to the bathroom, you have to drink the beer. No, it, it works everywhere. Um, it's true. Uh, 
That doesn't work. It's not just, oh. <laughs> Bath, <laughs> bathtub gin, it, bathtub gin is on the bottom of my list of recommendations. This is um, this is this is uh, turning into something I don't care for. Uh, okay. Yeah. You know what? Keep going. That's fine. I don't have to ever do the bits. Totally. <laughs> fine. Okay. Uh, so last chance for the chat. Hashtag chaos for our first copy of the Call of Cthulhu coloring yep. book. We're gonna do that drawing right mm -hmm. after Amy showers me with bits. Make it rain, Emma. Oh, criminy. Okay, I'm just gonna ask people again. I only see like maybe five or six people in there to win the Cthulhu coloring book. Um, personally, I'd like to win it, so don't enter. It's totally fine. Not <laughs> hashtag chaos to enter to win. Um, where should we start? Top. The board is full. At the, the bottom or the wow. top? Start at the top. Huh. Surprising. Okay. Yeah, let's, all right, hold. I don't even know if we, I may have to switch these over. Hold on. This is gonna decide if Rachel gets ice cream cake or not. <laughs> it actually, she'll she'll be fine. So the Apollyon gave Ezra five hundred bits. You are very kind, sir. Yep. So screwed. Ooh, uh, yeah, we are very screwed. Tamagatora, a thousand bits to Ezra. You know what? I'm gonna say it right now. I'm gonna use every one of those bits tonight. No. I'm gonna use every single one. We're gonna no. die. In fact, uh, you know what? I may have to switch over bits. Let's see here. <laughs> okay, so LD Brat, a thousand to Ezra. Very kind, very kind. Squirrel on the run. The new trader on top, yes. 500 bits. My new Ezra. second favorite Twitch user. He was our favorite. All right, you I can have right. cake. <laughs> she already ate the cake. Um, Slithy Top, I, that's up to you guys to fight that out. <laughs> bits. Dude. <laughs> exactly. You know what? Brayden, cake for everybody. Brayden, a thousand. Ah, our, our, our favorite. In spite Australian. of my accent, <laughs> in spite of Clive's yep. accent, Brayden gives. The Baroness, a thousand. Oh, the Baroness. Um, I've run out of bits, but the Baroness <laughs> also gave us five hundred. So thank you. Thank my you. Oh, I also <laughs> forgot. Elder Brat also gave us a thousand to spank Ezra. <laughs> I don't know if that's a real spanking or a metaphorical spanking. I've like, never been happy happier. Spanks, or like, I'm a spank you. Well, I mean, you, you, you've heard of birthday spanks, right? That's yeah. a thing. Birthday yeah, spanks are like, what I have after ice cream cake. Yes. I have to wear them to keep them. Yes. Before. That's, I'm, I've never been happier that we aren't in studio. Okay, we're going <laughs> to toddle on past that. All right, so I'm out of bits, like just in general. <laughs> so, but then we're not done yet. NGC 457, I'm a little questionable because he gave 500, but then I think it's for the players. I got to get a qualifier. You know what? I you guys can have it. I'm going to give Thank it. So. It's, it's Thank my you. birthday. I can be magnanimous. Yep. And then Jay Matthews 85 comes in at another 500 for Ezra. So, shocking. Very no kind, one. sir. Very shocking kind. So, no one. He does that. Mm -hmm. Wait, so how many bits stack. do I have to use? This is going to be hard. There's my stack. Oh, we have we have eight because we have four left over from last time. Yep. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. And you have one, two, three, four, stack, five, right? six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. God, my... How am I going to use twelve? Bits? Wow. I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, you are all. NGC gave five hundred on each side, so. Oh. I'm... I don't know. Let's let's put a D four on it because you know what? It's gonna feel like stepping on a D four. Well, you know, as we uses it. Usually, usually what what we do is is uh, the, the gold stands for five, so you could take four four back and put another one on the pile. I don't even know what that means. Never mind. <laughs> stepping on a D four is a better metaphor. Squeal gave five hundred. I'm gonna let oh to the players. Thank you, Squeal. Thank you, Ben. Go. At least, at least one of, uh, person isn't a traitor. <laughs> you know, that's that's highly do, uh, based on perspective. Rachel, why have you <laughs> taken us? Yeah, Rachel has for squirrel has forsaken yeah. us. You know, I'm just Body's excited dead. because uh, so so to you know not to but for so today as a rule I do not wear my Fitbit on my birthday. I want to have zero steps today if I can do it. And, uh, oh my gosh, we just got a bunch of subscriptions. I know, and not only that, right before the subs happened, so after Squeal, the Muffin Mage gave 500 for Emma to fire something up. Will and, do. 
And then an Elder Brat, 10 subscriptions. Elder yeah, Brat, you are, you, so you are fantastic. It's a lot happening here. I, um, There's a lot of gifts. Yes. You know what? I am just not qualified to make a 90s rap joke about De Brat. I'm just not. But somebody, imagine I made an incisive yet edgy but still witty comment about 90s rap icon De Brat. We're Nobody only knows. so pre. Like, you can no, you remember De Brat. No. She was like, she was kind of like, she was with Eve and with. Uh, with oh, no, I mean, imagine you, you came up with something like that good. Oh, I like, see. That, that, that's what she was made imagination. <laughs> um, well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was gonna um, say, we know who Elder Barge is, so that's. Yeah, all right, I'll stick with Elder. <laughs> wow, that doesn't date. Elder Barge is older than the brat. This is really sad. It's it's tragic. Oh, what are we? Are we giving something away now that we've gone sideways on this? Sure. <laughs> Sure. Give away, let's give away our coloring book. Let's give away. Okay. Um, right. Last Rolling chance. It. Hashtag chaos. Get it in there. Um, while Amy's doing that, uh, I will just say thank you all. That is, um, you're you're all ridiculous. And like I said, uh, you're part. You know, this community is part of this story, and that is a wonderful thing. So basically, that's over after tonight. I should have worn my masks prom dress because that's it that's all she wrote <laughs> i i i have some follow-up questions about the the phrase masks prom dress <laughs> I, <laughs> um, what? oh there's nothing good about it. okay i'm gonna roll the giveaway because it's getting weird in here <laughs> getting Ooh, dead boy 42 there you the go dead, dead boy, boy 42 the dead boy Weird. He's Dead Boy 42, but he's not 42. His age is somewhat different. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to give away his age because you never say someone's age. Uh, Do you know this person? But uh, Dead Boy, if you will whisper your email address to the Quests and Chaos uh, thing, I will make sure I will email you out a copy of the, uh, uh, the Call of Cthulhu coloring book. Uh, and if you don't want it, I'll take it. And... <laughs> Uh, you know, they say, like, there's a whole school now that says that coloring is, like, therapeutic. And, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. like, you color to, this is not the right comment, the coloring book for that. I'll just, I'll just say, um, you're gonna need a lot of red crayon and a <laughs> lot of, like, weird gray-greenish. I don't know how, if you can, like, color a slime effect Ooh. up in there, that might yeah. Uh, there are some lovely deep ones in there. Azathoth is in there. Oh, fun. Mm -hmm. It's a color. What, what would be worse is if you just basically like colored everything black. <laughs> I see a Cthulhu page and I want to paint it black. <laughs> just just oh. scribbled. Uh, it's also, it's, it's appropriate with this book to write <laughs> things in the margins in very bad handwriting. I think that is, you know, just to like for when somebody finds it. I Lots think of that's consonants, very little vowels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think that's right. and now Jane, Jane Matthews, Matthews is throwing subscriptions in. Oh my you, God, you are all magnificent idiots. Is yep. I mean, it's... <laughs> Muffin Mage five another thousand for Ezra. Thousand. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, I've always said the Muffin Mage is my favorite pastry-based sorcerer. <laughs> That is a very specific category to be in. Congratulations. Well, you know, pastries. You got to be number one in something. Muffins are pastries. They are? Okay. Pastry. Yeah. Baked sorcerer. Does that mean you're a sorcerer or a pastry? Yes. Oh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't believe in limits, Amy. Okay. I think he can be whatever he wants to be. They can be whatever they want to be. I'm assuming, you know, to me, muffins are automatically male, but that's just my weird German mindset where every wow. every noun has a <laughs> masculine or feminine uh, atta atta attainder uh -huh. to it. That's not just that, that's not just German. Yeah. I've been I've been brushing up on my Russian again lately, and man, I forgot how gendered that language was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It leads to some yeah. funny things like uh, before uh, uh, before. Um, their current chancellor, there was no word in the German language for a female leader, for a female, for a female chancellor. Let me, I'm, oh, no chancellor. words chancellor. for female yeah. leaders of various levels, but there had never been a female chancellor. And luckily in German, if you want to make something female, you just add in to the end of it. And so sure. 
She was Bundeskanzlerin, but um, uh, love me some German. Uh, now, Dr. Paramecium, you can talk about how bad my accent is, but you still got nothing on what Braden can talk about. Uh, all right, so uh, congratulations, Dead Boy 42. Uh, and uh, I hope that you'll color something and you'll toss it up in the Discord so we can all see yes, please. Uh, the yes. fruits of your insanity. Um, and uh, I, I don't worry, Baroness. I saw you. You know, you're, you're, there will be a GI Joe moment, but we've been, uh, we've been, uh, uh, you know, we need to actually get to a little bit of game at some point. Uh, but it's 22 minutes. We're getting up on chaos agents like chit chat time. <laughs> <laughs> minutes behind them. Again, I am That's not allowed to life. say anything about Thomas's GMing, so <laughs> I'm just going to move on. Uh, That's. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna drill that joke into the ground. I like that. Uh, all right. So last session, everything went fine, and I I really think we solved a lot of problems. I think that's no, that's not how. Okay. Uh, so yeah, last session you managed to get uh, thirteen innocent-ish people to uh, Dashur. Uh, and you managed to bring the group together. Unfortunately, what brought the group together was an ambush by cultists. Um, Emma was uh, pretty badly injured by uh, the surprise by the ambush, uh, and um, part of the part of the surprise of the ambush, not to that that kind of helped you and kind of hurt you, was that our old friend Don Julio had tagged along, um, and uh, he had. He had somehow managed to uh, fry one of the cultists, along with trying to fry Donald uh, and and Emma. And Emma. Emma. Yeah, um, <laughs> and uh, uh, he had disappeared. Uh, uh, the Dutch, the the Duchess had also, and uh, I did, I didn't, I didn't. It was the <laughs> I said the Duchess. And I know I I heard you pause and listen to yourself. Uh, the, the Duchess and Tidwell, by the way, my wife is slightly convinced that I'm going senile because I'm starting to have a real problem with names. Like, not like, you know, your names, but like, I'll just have, I'll be like, what fake was that people's guy's name? names? Like fake people's names? Like the people in your head? No, like fake, like fake people, like, you know, the characters in Hardcastle and McCormick or, you know, uh, Oh, speak. Okay, all right. Speaking of go. '80s TV, all oh, right. Boy. So again, '80s TV terrible. We had five channels. You watched whatever was on. Uh, there was a show called Riptide. Riptide. The conceit of which was two, uh, two manly private detectives and one nerd and his pet robot. It's the 80s, so his pet robot looked like, I don't know, like, uh, it, it actually kind of looked like those parking robots you now see in malls and stuff, back when you could still go to malls. Um, and uh, they they lived, the, the two PIs lived on a, a, a houseboat, and the the conceit of the show was that they would get hired and then they would hire the nerd to help them out. And um, they had a contest running throughout the show. So even at a young age, I appreciated a running bit. And Riptide's running bit was that the two PIs had an ongoing contest of who had had something happen to them the most. Uh, and it would happen throughout the episodes. Um, I'm actually might make this a contest. Maybe this is the YouTube. This is the YouTube contest. What? Oh God. For a copy of the Call of Cthulhu coloring book, what was it that the what was the contest in Riptide that the two PIs competed in? What were the the first person to put that in the YouTube chat will win a copy of the Call of Cthulhu coloring book. Why do I know these things? Um, you have a very odd eclectic memory. Uh -huh. Oh man, Tigerion makes is now he he just said he can't remember a single '80s cartoon, and I'm about to turn this into a, a no, three-hour dissertation on <laughs> pandemonium. Oh, 
all right, that's I won't do that. Uh, so yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the the Duchess and and Tidwell disappeared somewhere. Um, Don Julio disappeared. Um, they uh, they they found a another tunnel apparently dug by Doles, uh, and uh, Don Julio seems to have disappeared down that. They uh, they found. Uh, uh, they 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 found in in another building. Uh, you managed to shepherd the twelve remaining innocent people into the warehouse where you were staying, and mostly keep them away from Clive's horror show. Uh, and and then um, Agatha came back to life in some sort of horrible spider form that you only sort of saw, and you. Um, you you managed to find your way through here. You managed to shoot yourselves more than anybody else, really. We. Um, we. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't use guns. Uh, One of the several reasons. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, um, you you managed to yeah you managed there was some collateral damage and. Um, jo Joan and to 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 sort of set the stage in the warehouse. There is uh, the back of the warehouse, the door that leads into the office where all the innocent people are. Um, there is at that door are um, Emma and Cla uh, Emma and who Emma Stephanie and Clive. yeah it's you and Clive, Clive. are standing there because uh, he said. Don't look behind you. Yes. And then he did, he put his finger up to your head and everything went black. Yep. I don't know um, if it's black or not yet. I mean, I, the show was over, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, uh, yes, and Clive has, we'll, we'll get to what Clive did in a second. Uh, and then there is the truck, which has been pulled into the, into the warehouse, the hood of the truck facing towards where, that door where Emma and Clive are. There's about, four, three to four feet on either side where people have been coming uh, uh, around. And uh, there you have Hollister and Professor Lamb uh, on one corner and Donald and a shotgun on the other corner. Uh, in, and, and then you have the rest of the warehouse where a horrible, uh, um, a horrible blood circle that used to have hands in it but does not anymore uh, is festooning the floor. And I, that's about where we are. And so, Emma. Um, oh, wait, Tamagotor gave us 500 bits. We need that. I'm gonna you. put that there. There you go, there. very nice. Oof. Holy okay. crap. Thomas what? just dropped casually in the chat that his friend's father-in-law was Jan Michael Vincent. Who? I'd brush with stardom. <laughs> Come on, Airwolf. <laughs> I am definitely the baby at this table, and I'm reminded of that now and again. Oh man, Airwolf! Airwolf had a great soundtrack. It was a terrible show. It was Air, Airwolf. Airwolf was kind of like GI Joe in the sense that the whole the whole setup for Airwolf was they had this mega super helicopter that had like fifty caliber cannons on it. And the whole show had to be built around them not shooting anybody. <laughs> they do things like, all right, if we shoot the row, if we shoot the bridge in front of them, they'll have to stop. I'm like, just shoot them. <laughs> Done. Oh. Airwolf. Oh, loved it. All right. Um, I can. <laughs> yeah, this can be. I should stop. All right. So we are. So remember when I said at 6.02 and 02 seconds, literally, if we keep this up for about 40 more seconds, we're 30 minutes into announcements. All right. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Emma, you have been touched on the forehead, and all of the sudden, uh, everything is moving ridiculously slow to you. Yeah. Oh. Cool. So, um, everyone uh -huh. around you including Clive for the for the for the moment is moving in slow motion okay and where is Alexandria and where is spider lady uh spider lady you do not see 
Alexandra is around the front of the truck as well, uh, having just uh, danced with a shotgun. I didn't dance with the uh -huh. shotgun. I danced with a spider, and then and 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 then and then hit the ground. It's true. So I wouldn't dance the shotgun. Okay. And when I turn behind me, what? So you are turning me? around. No, never mind. Never mind. Dumb idea. Um, so I'm gonna run up to Alexandria and grab a knife. Grab the longest knife I can find. All they're right. all the same length, man. Yeah, they're all still, they're all basically stilettos. Yeah. Uh, you got a spot. You can, you'll find one. Yeah, they're they're well. She's got she got one. She's got two drawn. So yeah. yeah you just walk right up and um, uh, Take make me. me a spot hidden roll, Emma. Okay, here comes Bird of Par Bird O Paradise. Come, Come on, on birds. Come I on. thought I like for how sure they're like I was... wow, new and shrink. If you open them, they lose resale value. Okay, um, that's one of these kinds. Uh oh, that's one of these kinds. Okay, let's. They're I'm baiting in me in the chat. They're. they're, <laughs> they're oh, you know. Me. Oh, eighty-seven. I'm. Wait, hang on. What's my spot hidden? Element. No, my spot hidden's eighty-six, and I missed it. You could spend oh, a point yeah. of luck. Let's use, let's, I'm gonna use the, let's use an inspo. We've no, got, we, we don't have push that much. We have yeah, push the roll. Push. push the roll. All right, I like it. Cool. Push it, push it real good. 74, at least All I right. made it. So you yes. made it. All right, um, so even though you are moving super fast, Clive's eyes are still tracking you. So he's he's aware of your, okay. your, he's aware of where you are and how you're moving. Um, to okay. everyone else, you're essentially a blur. Mm -hmm. um, and so, um, Alexandra, make me a, let's say make me a strength roll. Mm. Yeah. Uh, 42. Okay, yeah. I am, so, I am not strong, I am fast, not strong. So. All of a sudden, one of your knives just disappears right out of your hand. But just boom. tell me you took it out of the left hand. I'm right-handed. I'm assuming so because it's a luck roll, Alexandra. Stabbing something. Well, it uh, depends. Was it up like this? <laughs> Thirty-eight success. All right. Yeah. So she took it from your left hand. Um, and so yeah, you you now have a knife. So we're mm -hmm. gonna go. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, we're gonna go into initiatives. And Emma, here's how we're gonna do this. You are going to have the first initiative and the last initiative every okay. round um, to to sort of show your, uh, uh, your speed. yeah, My your speed. My speed and quickness. Uh, so what are you gonna, uh, Emma, what are you gonna do? Um, so I look around, do I see the spider now that I'm in, in the room? So once you, you- Where's Ellen? You do not see the spider in the warehouse. I was under the spider when we ended, so. Uh, the spider was gone. It went up, right? Yeah, it went up. After the shotgun, it went. Okay, so. Talking about spider Agatha. Yes. 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 Um, spider Agatha. So, so you actually heard when Clive said, don't look back, you heard yeah. noises in the office with the people. I believe I described them as. Pop, 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 pop. Yep. I am. I'm, um, yeah, that's gross. I'm assuming terrible things have happened. <laughs> Two of them, I'm assuming. Um, I may not be right, but does, does Dr. Hollister, I forgot, Dr. Hollister still has the flashlight? Yes. Torch. And we're what talking happened? old school torch. It's not true. He actually has a That's literal torch. An old school oh, a torch, torch. Not, a, not, a, not a flashlight torch. That's right. <gasps> oh my God, this is going to be amazing. I'm going to grab the torch and like wave it around to see if I can find the spider. So it's going to be like the trippiest trails you all have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Yeah, there's like, it looks like one of those commercials where the light is superimposed. <laughs> At a certain point, you're just putting on a show. Yeah. <laughs> bit i'm writing my name uh light show well thank you for letting me know who, who nicked my dagger <laughs> <laughs> of course i would i would fire write my name Duh. Yeah, yeah that's i love it yeah like all of a sudden it says emma in like briefly blazing letters in the air oh, well, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, you do not see the spider thing in the warehouse. Okay. Um, do I still get some more action, or am I? That's, am I that's your down? first one. You'll again. You'll go okay. at the very end. Um, okay. So uh, uh, let's see, Donald. You have a readied firearm, so I think that puts you at one thirty. Mm. Right, but the target is gone, right? For a certain value of the target. Certain value of gone. There's only one, there's only one target. Uh, Don't tell uh, Doctor Hollister that. You know. Oh, he yeah he just gets in the line of fire all the time. He needs some training. <laughs> but I imagine it went up to the ceiling. Got a rush underneath where it went. Tra training my gun up towards the hole. All right. So yeah, you run up into the middle of the room, uh, um, into the sort of the circle where uh, Alexandra was in front of the rear of the truck. That's a really great way to describe that. And you're just like looking up at the ceiling, and, and you see the word Emma burning in the sky to the left of you. Uh, Dream come uh, true. Uh, whatever. I don't know what that means. I don't even know how to process that. But uh, there's no there's no spider up here. You do right? not see a spider on the roof, and it's nicely lit up by the um, the 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 M. <laughs> I was trying to put ambiance and Emma together, and it wasn't working. So <laughs> ambiance. Ambiance. Right here, right here. Any skittering sounds, movements, anything? Uh, you like I said, you heard. Um, you heard claw. Well, make make a listen roll. Okay. Yeah, a hard success. All right. Yeah, you you heard Clive say very quietly to Emma, um, "Don't look behind you." And then you heard like you heard noises in the office where the the people are. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna start rushing back towards the office. All right. So yeah, you ran into the middle and you pointed your gun up. Next round, you can run towards the office. Yeah. Um. Uh, gosh, I don't remember what I pretended like Clive's dex was. Uh, well, let's find out. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, 80s. That would be Donald when he wasn't ready. 70s. Alexandra. All right. I'm going to kick back up and, 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 and get on my feet again and like look around. I'm currently down a dagger and just like, oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and once again, you've been rolling in blood. Yep. Although this was mostly dried by this point. Well, dried, and I imagine there's like some sand going on there. It's, yeah, it's not great. So, you know, I'm I'm gritty and nasty, but not necessarily covered in blood. But I see the Emma written across the sky. I really want that to be an episode title, but it would never work. <laughs> uh, I see I see the Emma written across the sky. I look down at my head and go, don't know how you did it, but all right. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm going to start looking around as well to try to figure out where this spider thing went. And I, I, I imagine I see Donald starting towards that. Yeah, yeah, you'll see him starting towards the front of the, of the uh, to the office, yeah. Yeah, I'll, the player thinks it's a terrible idea, but that's what Alexandra would do. So she, she, she heads in that direction with him to be like, okay. we're tracking this thing down. All right, so yeah, you, you'll be heading with him. Um, also on a 70, um, the two of you turning the corner and uh, also Hollister and Joan, um, you'll hear Clive, uh, you'll hear Clive say, uh, um, uh, now you've got to share. And Emma, make me a pow roll. Oh, cool. Oh, nine. Very nice. All right. So you will lose, you, you lose, I need a pencil. Two magic points. Okay. And do I? How do I feel about that? Um, you feel like that was about the best case scenario. <laughs> um, and um, you feel like, and Doctor Clive is now moving a little faster, but not a ton faster. Okay. Um. All right. That was that. That was seventies, sixties. Yeah, Joan. So, wow. Okay, so I'm, I'm looking around. I got to see Alexandria get jumped on. And, yeah. and, and, and then the shotgun went off. Gone, shotgun went off. All I've got is my, my handy crowbar. Um, and so I know what I'm going to do. I and a am, rifle. Sorry? And a rifle that you're very good at all of a sudden. <laughs> I do have a rifle, don't I? Yes. Mm -hmm. And oh, apparently you're amazing with it. I totally forgot about that. Um, 
but uh, okay, so I have my rifle, I have my crowbar, but what I was gonna do is I was going to, to erase or try to erase the thing on the ground because I think that's what's I think that's what's doing everything. So I'm going to get rid of the blood circle. That's what I'm doing. Okay, you're gonna like try and break that circle. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's so you run up and you start to like kick sand into the and it it will start. Yeah, you will you will cool. easily like yeah. um you know especially yeah using the the crowbar yeah. you'll like start to scrape it away and you have you have cleared out like a small section of. Uh, between so it was an eight pointed star so you've you've cleared out one of the sections between two of the points perfect. where uh, not so long ago there were hands but there are no longer hands perfect hands down <laughs> hands about to be up uh seventies that was sixties fifties forties doctor Hollister yeah I'm uh we, we need to just leave this place and I'm gonna. <laughs> Like, is there is there a door to open to get the truck out? Yeah, there's like a, a warehouse door in the front. All right, yeah, I'm going to run Slide. over and open that. All right, so you start to open that door. No problem. Uh, it is, uh, sorry, it is not a sliding door. It's actually two barn doors that yeah. will open that way. And so, uh, yeah, you you start to you start to open that door. That is that is no problem. Uh, all right, uh, second Emma. Yep, which I'm a 40, so I'm at the bottom usually anyway. Um, again, so I'm going to steal myself because I think that there are not great popping scenarios. That means that like in Emma's head, either their eyeballs have been blown out or yeah, or more like they're just kind of been squished like little human nuggets, like little human chicken nuggets. So I'm like, okay. Out of all like, sentences, right? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> open the door and look and see what's in store with my 13 innocent people. All right. So you, uh, you throw open the door and, um, yeah, you are, you, you have a, a, a horrible sight in front of you. Okay. Um, as how many, how many do I lose? <laughs> <laughs> uh, as, uh, behind. So, so you open the door and, the the thirteen uh, the thirteen people are kind of standing almost like bewitched, all in a line, and sure enough, uh, five of them are just standing there with gaping holes where their eyes would be. Uh, the other eight are not that lucky. The other eight. Through the eyeballs, uh, the Agatha spider, which is kind of hiding behind these people, has taken eight hands, and each one has two fingers going into their eyes. So the eight hands that were sliced off of those uh, followers are poking into the eyes of the people and sort of, um, there's almost like a, 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 a stone into a puddle effect as the hand goes into the eyes. Mm -hmm. Um, and the eight, and the eight, none of the 13 people are reacting, uh, to what's, to the awful thing that is being done. So yes, make me a sanity roll when faced okay. with this. I keep forgetting what my sanity is. I keep forgetting where my sanity is on my I page I keep well. forgetting what my sanity is. <gasps> the Emma wow. story. You know what? All of that, all of that breathing that I was doing rolled a four. Thank you, Birds Look of Paradise. Look at that. Birds Damn. of Paradise coming through. All right, well, um, it perhaps says more about you than anything else that the unholy uh, 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 diorama in front of you uh, only causes you to lose one sanity. Ooh, and I am super angry. I was like, <laughs> part of me is kind of like, how dare you do that to a human being? Part of me is kind of like, how dare you do that to my human sacrifices? <laughs> I knew that's where you were going yep, with that. Yep, 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 yep. I mean, it's a little bit of, this is terrible. And it's also a little bit of, I should have been doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I scream, get your claws off of them, bitch. And I run up behind the spider head with my, with Alexandria's knife in my hand. Uh, yeah, you know what? You have super speed. So yeah, you run up. Um, and as you run up, 
Agatha, like the Agatha head shifts mm-hmm. on the whole spider body and looks at you. And Sorry. for a second, it's um, something is like something move like for a second, it seems like this thing is Agatha, not whatever it now is. Mm-hmm. And, and Agatha looks at you and says, remember my words. And then yeah. she's back to like creepy spider thing. Okay. Do I, I don't get anything else. Next round I, you'll go after her. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, so, uh, yeah, Emma, you get, you are, you are super speedy. Ooh. So you get first. So, um, what's next to me with Agatha? Do I get an ear? Do I get an eye? Like where's, where can I So stab? it's actually I a horrible, stuff. it's a horrible, um, you know, that weird kind of somehow wet, but still wrinkly, like tick kind of consistency of dog ticks? Yeah. Or deer ticks? Unfortunately, tick. yes, I do know. That is, that is the body of this spider thing. And okay. that is what's next to you. And I don't have access to the head. I don't have access to the Agatha head. Uh, you're going to have to do some climbing to get to the Agatha head. Um, there are also, so none of the eight legs this thing has are touching the ground. It is almost floating or being held by the eight people that it has its fingers in. Oh, so then like, I'm going to get, I'm going to get in the, I'm going to climb, I'm going to climb the spider. All right. Make me a climb roll. Uh, spider climb. Anything in that? Spider climb. I have nothing. I mean, the base is 20, right? I'm like, what's that number? (gasps) Birds of pair. Wait a minute. Nope, that's it. That's only a 35. Okay, I missed. All right, so you start to climb. Um, It is not a fun climb. She's thinking about inspiration. She's looking at inspiration. I can tell. It's 20. It's not like it's worth it. The odds are against me. Um, So yeah, you've started climbing this thing. It's kind of like climbing a... um, uh, uh, a beanbag chair full of something gross. So it's not an easy climb and it's it's definitely slowing you down. You could possibly, Use the knife to assist me? Uh, you could. Do you wish to puncture this thing? No, no, no. <laughs> the way that's phrased, no. no. All right, you Nobody start to knows. slowly, you start to slowly climb up. Uh, Dig into it with the torch, because that'll cauterize as it goes in. <laughs> so, um, on a very fast, uh, not as not Emma fast, but very fast, um, the eight people that this thing has its hands in start to talk. So, um, it's it, it, there's a little, like, Greek chorus sort of thing going on, as eight voices all saying the same thing at once, uh, and um, if you want, uh, oh gosh, the situation changed a little. All right, so the voices, um, the eight voices say, you humans and your senseless desire for survival begin to annoy me. Ah, I recognize that way of phrasing things. And, um, yeah, that, that's, that's all the spider is going to do this round. Uh, so Donald, unless you're going to use, uh, it doesn't matter because you have the highest initiative, uh, anyway, but, um, if you're not going to use the firearm this round, you're going to be at your normal initiative, not the ready okay. initiative. Yeah. All yeah. right. So. You, you and Alexandra tear around to the door. You open, the, the door is now open. So you tear around to the door. You see the horrible, awful mm-hmm. sight oh. in front of you. You both make sanity rolls. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, failed that. Well, sure you did. That's a- Not four. <laughs> All right, so Alexandra, um, I want you to sit and think about why that doesn't disturb you more as you lose two sanity. Donald. <laughs> yes, dad. Ho, oh, ho, Donald. Donald has a normal reaction. Uh, you lose six sanity, sir. That's like Joan level loss. And so, <laughs> and so, 
I have a question for you. Fight, flight, or freeze? Uh, he, fight is going to be his, his, his go-to in this kind of situation. That is, no, no, that is not going to go well with a shotgun. No, well, he's, he, he's not using a shotgun with all these people in front of him. Uh, um, if yeah. you're saying fight, you're going to fight with what you have well, at hand. This is not, you are not in your right frame of mind. You are not making good decisions right now. This is, I'm going to kill everything in front of me because this is terrifying. I'm going to run away because this is terrifying. Or, oh my God, this is terrifying. I'm going to stay right here. Yeah, well, uh, given those three options, I think his mindset is going to be fight. That's what he okay. would do. All right. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, and you are, you, so, I mean, you are, you are not in your right mind. Right. There is, there are now, horrors in front of you. Right. As such, he's basically going to run towards the horror, is what he will do. Okay. Shotgun. He will run in there with the shotgun, get it point blank range. And okay. if the Greek chorus takes the shot as well. He just builds blasting the entire horrible, sure. awful, yeah. unnatural yeah. nonsense is, is going, going exactly. down. Yeah. It is all, it is all awful. Okay, yeah. So you will, um, you will, yeah, you bust through the door. Uh, Alexandra, make me a, make me, make me a psychology roll. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. I actually have stuff in this. 14. All right. Um, Donald is not well. Like you can tell by the way he charges, you know him. And you know that um, he is running, like that shotgun is at the ready and he's running towards people. Or what you figure are people. Wow. Well, probably cursing as well the, the whole time too. He's not, he, yeah. He's, not really yeah. Sound. he's, he's, uh, he's upset. Yeah. He's, yeah. Um, by the way, in the chat, they are suggesting that large sanity loss should now be called a Joan. I yeah, I saw that, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Mm -hmm. Second and third and written in stone. Let's all right, it. all right. A little late to start keeping track of another stat, but. You know. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, that was the okay eighty seventies. Do I attack though? I mean, uh, attack roll. No, because you ran up to the door. So you got up to the door, and then you saw this horrible thing, and now you're you're like charging forward because you want to be at point blank. So next round, you will be at point blank, and you can do horrible things. Good. Uh, 70s, Alexandra. Oh, did she freeze on us? No. Nope. Nope. She's, okay. she, I was she, like, oh my God, did the internet freeze? No. Like, she's going through a mortal freeze. <laughs> <laughs> through a shit. I have two choices in front of me and neither one is good. You have to cut his Achilles tendon. It's the only way to stop him. <laughs> No. That's eight Achilles tendons. <laughs> <laughs> They're like kidneys. You have two. He needs both of them to keep up with me. Right, because they're killer tendons. Ah. Anyway, um, I am not strong enough to bring Donald down. There's just there's no way. Um, I'm gonna keep pace with him. So, so, so that at the very least, if I if I see him pointing the gun at a person, I'm gonna like push it in the direction of the. He's spider, pointing the gun at all the people. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a fan of this. I'm just like running to catch up with him and just right. being like the spider head, Donald. The spider head pointed at that. Um. So <laughs> his, his eyes are just wide, and there's a combination of disgust, of fear, and um, and and just. Donald's not there right now. Get it, All, right. All right. So yeah, you're you're gonna you will um I will say that whatever action he takes, you can have a reaction to. Thank since you're you. since you're staying with him. All right. Uh seventies, uh sixties, professor. So do I hear any of the yelling like spider or oh, anything? Yeah, you like hear that? yeah, <laughs> you hear Donald swearing profusely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is not working. This I was hoping this would get rid of it, but I'm not. I know I have a gun now, so I'm running over to. I know I have a gun now. <laughs> I wish we could use that as a title. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're going to start running to the front. All right. Uh, also, in that initiative, uh, 
Um, Professor and Dr. Hollister, you will see um, Clive like looking sad and shaking his head and saying, I told them not to look, I told them not to look behind me. And then he starts to walk towards the front of the, of the, um, towards the, uh, away from the fight, like back into the warehouse. Oh, if I saw that, I would might go after him. Okay. I'm going to go after him. Sure. Yeah. You're, you're going to hang around with Clive. Yeah. Uh, Clive will see you and he'll be like, you don't want to be in there. My friend, we got it. We got to go. We got to get him. Look, I've got to get to the pyramid so I can do the cleansing ritual. If I stay here, I'm going to die. And here's the thing. Agatha has already told me and us that the cleansing ritual was successful. So I know I have to get there. So you know, by, you're going to go, you go be, be okay by yourself. It's the only way I've ever been okay. All right. We'll see you out there. Probably not. Clive uh, heads out. Clive is, he's heading towards the front where Dr. Hollister, he now comes upon you as you are, you've gotten the doors open. And he says, look, I'm the one that should leave. Maybe you should stay here with your friends. I don't know. Well, I've, I've got something I have to take care of still. Yeah, me too. All right, well, uh, maybe I'll see you at the pyramid then, eh? I don't think so. Yeah, that's the spirit. And he walks off. My accent? Uh, all right, he, he will start walking off into the desert. Um, but I'm after him, right? Yes, now you go. Yeah. Um, as he turns his back to me, you shoot. I'm going to put my gun in his back and unload. Hachi Machi! <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, yeah. Um, Every time uh, be successful. I mean, yeah, you will kill him dead. Okay. Uh, to, okay. Do so, I hear? Do um, I see? Do anything? <laughs> you hear. You definitely hear a gunshot at the front. Oh, oh crap. You hear three, yeah. All right, which is a clue as to what might have happened. Because only one, there's only one person you've met that shoots multiple times. <laughs> uh, yeah, you hear blam, blam, blam. Um, and uh, Clive, like, stands straight up for a second and then goes, She didn't see that coming. <laughs> and then flops straight forward. No, she didn't. That's the problem. Okay, uh, we're back to uh, uh, second Emma. Yep. Okay, so how far am I up the tick, Agatha? <laughs> you are. Uh, you are about a third of the way. I mean, you could attack the body at any time, but if you want to attack the head, you're about a third of the way up. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the soft bits. Uh, you're going for the head then. Yep. Okay, make me a climb roll. With a climb roll, you're there. Without a climb roll, you're gonna keep climbing. What is this number? Still, what is this with the 37s? I mean, it's the ultimate random number. It's, you know, it's, yeah. it's a binary thing, so we may as well use <laughs> the inspiration, right? Yeah. As long as you're not gonna fumble. <laughs> you're gonna get 37. Well, then, yeah. well, you're either gonna make the roll or you're not, or you're gonna critically fumble, but the chances of you succeeding are higher than fumbling if we inspire it. Let's and use if it. You... Okay. I was gonna give okay. you one of mine if you didn't. Oh, that's sweet of you. I have so many, I have to get rid of them. <gasps> oh, so here's a, so this, the 10 is actually, so I can't do 20, 10, I would be, it would be 21, right? That's no, it's right. 20. No, no. It's a twenty. Wait, if you rolled a two, it's a, it's a, it's a twenty and, and the ten, right? So that's twenty. Yeah, that's twenty. Right. Yeah. As long as yeah, as long as the yeah. it's either a twelve or a twenty. Yes, depending yeah, on which so die. Yeah. So with Birds of Paradise, there's the twenty and then there's the tens, but right. there's just to be clear. Oh, yeah. Not with uh, not with good not with the the retail Birds of Paradise. That yes. was only okay. in the. Uh, the proto the if you're Paradise, special and get the, the early Birds of edition. Paradise you buy from birdsofparadise.com will not have this issue at all. 
Um, but I'm actually enjoying it because it made me look at it. And so that actually is the zero. So I hit it exactly. And I'm gonna oh check it God. off. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, you, ha you, you zip up this thing to the head and now it's back to first Emma. Do okay, it. so first Stab Emma it. is, yep, is going to do a reverse last rites <laughs> and actually ask for forgiveness for myself. So you're saying a Hail Mary as you do so? As, uh, <laughs> yeah, basically, instead of asking for, you know, for the last rites for Agatha, just, you know what I mean? The fact that, does she, well, actually, I will. I will ask if she is, um, you know, trying to, asking for forgiveness for all her sins and that, you know, may God accept her into the kingdom of heaven and blah, 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 and then stab her right and then in the eye. Send her to the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, I don't know. I, Alexandria, can you roll for me? Because I don't know what to do. I will happily roll for you because I almost can't fail, but I don't I don't uh, have the knife in my hand. So the base knife skill is uh I think 25. There, isn't, 25. A, there isn't a base knife skill as a thing. I took I took knife as a special fighting style. Oh, all right. Roll perhaps 25. Um we'll call it 25. What the heck? So you have a okay. base 25. It's better than your climb. Yeah, it is. I was about to say, because I'm like, my sword is like a 38, but I'm, that's not a sword. Yeah, my dagger's like a 25. If only you were drunk. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I might be. So yeah, even the dagger is a 25. Come on. Mm. Nope. Oh, thank God. That's a 63. So it didn't make it, but for a second, right. I thought it was a nine. So <laughs> you like, you come around and you're like, um, you realize that you made the rookie mistake of trying to slice the throat of something that doesn't have a throat. Um, and so you like cut across the throat thinking maybe she'll bleed. She does not bleed. But, At least um, there isn't like acid goo coming out of her. God knows what. It's true. At least there's not. Uh, all right. That was first Emma. Uh, all right. Donald with a readied firearm. Hey, you know, he's, he's, he's crazy. He's, I'm going to run up all the way as close as I can get the spider creature. And then when I'm at point blank range fire, unless somebody stops me. Let's have you, mm, no, yeah, okay. Uh, Alexandra, you have a chance. You see the shotgun raising up. Is he pointing at the people or is he pointing at the Agatha head? I mean, yes. the head the my body. mind is Agatha head, but the people are in front of it. So yeah. whatever is there. Yeah. By running up to point blank, he's essentially aiming at everything. And it's a shotgun, so. Yeah. And, and also Emma's on the, on the Agatha head. And, and you know. Sorry. All right. Um, I'm gonna do the thing that I did not want to do, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to knock him over. All right, this will be a strength roll for you based and against oh. his size. So this is an opposed strength for you. Essentially, are gonna try and sh el uh, shoulder check him. Yeah, basically, what I'm aiming at is like is almost like almost like a flying tackle because I'm coming up alongside him and like grabbing him around the hips to knock him down. All right, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna make you an offer. Drop kick and just bouncing off of him. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make you an offer. You can. Make this a fight brawl roll, uh, but you're gonna do damage to him if, and that will be opposed by his fight brawl, or you can try to just sort of shoulder check him and bump him, and that's gonna be a strength versus size roll. Your choice. About the same size, aren't we? 65 is his size, he's tough. Uh, I mean, I'm a 60, just a little bit smaller. Yeah, very close. But it's your your strength, yeah. not your size. Yeah, you're no, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to gauge what I'm up against, but my brawl is bad. So I'm going to go for uh, strength versus size. Okay. All right. So Donald, make a strength, a size roll. Alexandra, make a strength roll. Can I inspire mine? Uh, Can you spend inspiration on my roll, please? Are you trying to miss it? Hey. Yes. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, it's, otherwise it's, it's a critical success, so I'd rather miss this roll. All right, Alexandra. Alt one. Oh, thank, well, let me. I, I, I roll a critical success, so I have to. Roll, I, no, so so in the like the the defender, the attacker has to beat the defender. So and you both have a critical success. I want to spend inspiration on my roll though? So can we do that? Let's inspire that to make it yes. worse. Uh, sure. Okay. Why not? Uh, That's a sentence I never thought I'd say. I know. Um, a 17, but that's not a critical success. That's All a right. luck success. Uh, so yeah, she will, um, Alexander, make me a luck roll. Boy. Come on. All right, yeah. So the shotgun goes off up into the sky. There's like a blam as it shoots up and misses everything. Um, and uh, Donald, make me a sanity roll. Another one? Yes. 
Actually, make, uh, let's make it an intelligence roll. Let's make okay, it an intelligence roll. All right, uh, that's a fail. Okay, yeah, you have not come to your senses yet. Yeah, okay. There's a horror in front of you. And Can we please fucking inspire that? Yeah, I'd sure. like to. How much do we, oh, goodness. We don't have that oh, much, good. but you know we what? We had 12, so we're 63 good. is a success, so we, yeah. I, I, intelligence. All right, so, so you, are, you are cognizant that what you were going to do would have hurt Alexandra and Emma. But that's the extent of what you're cognizant of. Okay. You're still in a fighting rage because there is a horror in front of you. Uh, all right. Um, so that was 70s, 60s, Professor Lamb. I heard shots. You heard shots at the front, yes. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. So I'm gonna. I heard shots in the front and over there. Correct. A, a shotgun just went off in the in the office. There were three gunshots in the front. But I know that Holly was that way. So I'm gonna. And, and I know that those. Guys, okay. So I'm gonna go after Holly. I'll see what right. happened to Holly. So you come running up, and um, uh, Hollister is standing uh, at the open door uh, next to the bleeding profusely body of uh, Professor Clive. Oh my God! What happened, Holly? What, he was gonna go do the the, the ceremony. Oh, no, he 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 was a pawn. He didn't realize it. What? Agatha what? couldn't Agatha couldn't see what happened at the pyramid. She couldn't see. She couldn't tell him that. How, how did he you know? Her. He killed her, and he brought back something else. Wait, are you saying that? You did this? <laughs> what he was doing wasn't gonna work. It, it was gonna stop us from succeeding. No. How the hell did you know that? Because Agatha couldn't see the ritual. She couldn't see it. So someone else was telling him that that would work. And someone else was telling us not to go after Don Julio. Guess at who that was. He was under his control. Okay, all right. There, there. I look. I, there's nothing I can do for this guy. He's. Oh, he's quite dead. He's. Our friends are still back there. Let, let's go. Let's go find out what's going on. We'll deal with this later. All right. That was '60s, yeah. uh, and it'll be Dr. Hollister. So, what are you doing? I'm, I'm going to go after Don Julio. Get the, we, we just need to get out of here. Get the others, get the people, get them out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab some supplies from the back of the truck and I'm gonna go in the tunnel. We just need to leave this place. We're wasting time here. Wait, you can't go after them by yourself. You got- Come, come yeah. after me when, when you're ready. You've lost too much time already. But can we, no, don't tell me that. No, I- we, we, yeah, we don't have any time for this crap. All right, fine. You want to go by yourself? You go. I'm going to go after my friends. Tell them to get out of there. No, I'm going to tell them what you did. You, you fine. And all right, uh, Hollister will start to walk out of the front door. No, uh, I'm going to grab a crate of the supplies from the back. I'm going to get some food and water from okay. the truck. Yeah. And then I'm going to. Okay, but you're not taking the truck. No. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, second Emma. Um, okay. I'm going to go. So I learned my lesson. Don't, don't stab. Don't slit a throat of a spider. <laughs> and, and also don't try slitting with a stiletto. They're stabbing yeah. daggers. Yeah. So that's what I want to do is I'm looking for a gooey spot. I mean, let me take that back. I'm, how do I even put this? I'm looking for, I don't even know. Where would the spider brain be? Like, I mean, I've seen Alexandria enough to know like going through like the ocular socket or through the ear would be a good way to like, I'm assuming Agatha still has a head. It's still the head of Agatha, right? It is. I, so, so like if I'm in the back, I would then just come to the side and stab her through the ears into the brain. 
Okay. Montage of Alexander killing lots of people, and Emma's like thinking. About <laughs> I'm like, no, that's I not it. I just really want to know yeah. how often. I just really want to know how often Emma's paid attention while Alexandria is stabbing people. Because I feel like that's an interesting answer. Um. So make me a uh, make me a knife roll. Come on. Oh, this is not great. That's a 60, 60 10, So that would be sixty. Inspire it. You're gonna keep rolling those tens. Oh, speaking of which, sixty ten. Elder Brat gave us a thousand bits. Thank you, Elder Brat. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you. So, oh, here they are. I put them right here. So I'm gonna use one of those. Yep. To try again. Try again. Twenty. Mm, Twenty nine. So that's oh. four. You could That's spend four. luck. I mean, and for luck, you can't I inspire mean, a roll I'm a second time. I'm not an advocate time. for this, but That's is that a rule I'm I can't saying. remember? Do, yeah, four. you can't. You yeah, can't I think inspire. You can only inspire a roll once. Right. Yeah, I gotta go luck and stab her in the ear, and this yeah. is everything I got. But you yeah. just spent uh, all your luck. I no, I spent four luck. Oh, you were really hopeful there. <laughs> uh, all right, you. You, yeah, you stab, there's a, there's a satisfying question mark crunch as you stab through uh, uh, the skull of Agatha and um, you stab the knife through and there's something there that you, you stab into. And when you pull the knife out on the mm -hmm. tip of the knife is an eyeball. And then eyeballs start to light, and a few eyeballs roll out. And you start oh. to wonder what is in the sack of this egg. I thought that eliminated all confusion, but. <laughs> uh, and yeah, there is. So yeah, there is. There is now a a a very human eyeball on the end of your stiletto, and the head of this spider thing just goes like and lolls and what about down the tentacles? but the hands stay in the eye sockets of the eight people oh, none of I the thir have... none of the 13 innocent people uh, 12 innocent people have moved this whole time uh, so as soon as you so yeah you stab in that thing you pull it out and um the head like you hit it with such force that the head kind of and is now at this ugly angle and it's almost like looking at you um and the eight the eight voices um the the eight voices will say um fine you want them so much come and get them and the um the body of this spider starts to deflate and you feel almost like um, water running through pipes. You see like blobs of something going through uh, the, the arms, the eight arms, and through the hands into the people. And as you're watching, the people start to turn into sand. And as they turn into sand, um, you hear uh, um, the, the eight voices again uh, uh, saying, I think you know where to find us. And then the dust just blows away. And then after that, I take the knife with the eyeball on the end of it and hand it back to Alexandria. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. I, 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 did, did I actually <laughs> succeed in like knocking Donald over or? Yeah, no, you, no, no, you just knocked the shotgun. Okay, up. so I'm, I'm just like, standing there looking up and then like this dagger appears in front of me because she's still at super speed um so donald the the horror that was in front of you has dissolved okay. so you start to like you know come out of this um there are still four people standing in front of you standing oh, I... totally stock still with no eyes i think at this at this point he just got to scream out in rage throw his shotgun down it does, it's kind of, I think it's empty. Yeah, it's just, kind of, it's just lost at this point. I probably grab onto Alexandria, um, bury his head into his shoulder, and just try to control his rage, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Trying to get a grip of things. And just, uh, and just like hang on to him, be like, breathe. 
grave. <laughs> um, so Emma, you kind of uh, gentlier than you really wish, kind of ride this dissolving spider thing down to the mm -hmm. ground. Um, and uh, you you land on the ground and you see the five, uh, four, damn it, the four other people uh, just, they're still standing there, stock still. Uh, and you see Professor Lamb come busting through the door. And Professor Lamb, what do you do? I would say, oh, I just go, what, what, the, Holly, he, he just killed Clive. What? Oh. What's yeah. going on in here? <laughs> Damn it. I see sand on the ground and, and, and then yeah, there's people. sand on the ground. Yep. There's a knife, there's an eyeball knife lollipop. Um. There, and <laughs> actually when you when you take a second to look around, you see five people with no uh four people. Damn it. I had to change my numbers and it's yeah. really throwing. Yeah, me I off. actually had to go back in my notes and change it from five to four. Yes. Uh, four people with no math. eyes. So make me a sanity roll for that. <laughs> Yay! I'm showing this. Do it. Uh, oh no, I got a 90. 90 is not a fumble. Uh, uh, I know, but I was, I thought it was for one second. Anyway. Uh, you lose two sanity. Uh, <sighs> and, um, and yeah, so we're going to come out of initiative. Uh, Dr. Hollister, I'm going to come to you for a second. You are, uh, what, what are you going to do? Uh, I was getting the food and water. Yeah, you're you're walking. Out. But you're but more importantly, where is my where is my where are my medical supplies? Are they back in the room, or do I have those with me? You have those with you. Sir. Okay. Yeah. Then I'm I'm not like hauling because I don't I I figure it's going to be keep a fast pace, but don't burn myself out until I catch up with the uh, the dawn. And so you're going into the tunnel. Yes. Okay. Uh, the tunnel that seems to lead towards the pyramid. Okay, no problem. Yeah, so you will um, you will come around the side of the warehouse that you were in and go into the other warehouse where that um, trap door led down to the basement that had been carved open by the doles. And I reload my gun. Sure. Yeah. As you're as like yeah, you, once you get in the second warehouse, you like put everything down and you very carefully like you know. You reload everything. Sure. Okay. Uh, we will cut back to um, our heroes? Question uh, mark. Yeah. And uh, you are, uh, uh, yeah, you are in in this room. And um, about two minutes of Professor Lamb telling you what just happened. The people start to come out of whatever happened to them, mm -hmm. and. Um, the first thing that happens is you hear a woman saying, why can't I see? And I just swear under my breath. <laughs> I don't know what we do. I, I don't know what we do with this. I don't know. Is, is someone oh, there? Just... Yep, we're right here. So I grab I grab all the followers together. Like, mm -hmm. I, I'm like, here, you ha hold hands. I We won't get lost if you we all hold hands. The great evil is upon us and it has taken your sight. It has taken some of the members of the flock and we must continue on to defeat this. It won't stop until it tries to destroy us all. Oh my. Mm. Uh, a couple of them will like do the sign of the cross when you mm -hmm. say the great evil and stuff like that. And they're like, oh, we, we understand, we understand. Um, do we, are we going to be able to see again? Perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's actually like the least and like <laughs> they seem very uns unsatisfied with perhaps. <laughs> I mean, uh, but they I'm made, unsure. I made I'm a collective. Unsure what the future holds. <laughs> I made a collective sand roll, and they seem to be doing all right. So, cool. so I'm working to gather all of them yep. together, calm them, like go over the fact that we need to stick together and hold hands and move together as a group and that we will, am I listening to what Joan is yelling about? Whatever. Yeah, you hear, it, you hear all the stuff. Yeah. Harshing the mellow of trying to. Yeah. Well, 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 she's doing that. I see Donald and Alexandria, you know, and I just back over there and go, guys, 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 guys. We Joan, have no time. Joan, I need you to. Joan, what, what is it? 
So both of you need to calm down and take a breath. Please. No, we have no time. We are about to fly into pieces and those people over there are about to lose it. It doesn't matter. We, do yes, we have it enough? Does. We need them. Take we a breath get... and then tell me what's going on. Okay. All right. All right. So, so. All right. I tried to to get rid of the big symbol outside because it, the blood and everything I thought would help um, wreck uh, what was going on, but it didn't seem to help. Doctor Holler, uh, uh, Doctor Hollister was trying to get out of here. He was opening the doors. He was trying so we could get the truck out. And then uh, uh, Clive said that he was going to go and, and do the ritual himself. And he said he didn't need help. It was going to be fine because Agatha said it was fine. So I told him to go. And the next thing I know, I hear three shots and Holly shot him. Shot, he killed him. Something got to Holly. And he said he was going to go uh, down the hole. Wait, wait. Dr. Hollister shot Clive. Killed Clive? And then where is he? Where's the doctor? He took off. I, I, I came back to help you guys because I heard your shots. So I came back to help you guys and said, forget him. We don't have enough time for that. We have to come over and I have to get you guys so we can go and do what we need to do. Where is Hollister going and how is he getting there? He did, I didn't hear the truck start. He, he, he said he was going down the hole. Oh God, no, you don't, you said don't that, go down the hole. He said that all oh. of this was, all of this was was not real and that they were we were getting told lies and that that Clive wasn't going to help us anyway and so he was going to help us why, he went why, down the hole why yeah, everyone is going crazy why did he say that that um how, how did he know it wasn't going to work what did he say he said that Agatha couldn't see the ritual Agatha couldn't see the kept saying Agatha couldn't see the ritual so we is. know it's not real Agatha that's what it no Joan she, they, they said she can't see anything to do with the black pharaoh. She so can't. She could, so, so she, she couldn't would, tell that the ritual was going to happen. She wouldn't be able to know that the ritual would work because she wouldn't be able to see it. Well, is it, it, it she's that's a, exactly what he's trying to say. What? What? So, wait, wait. Clive turned her into the spider. Is what you're telling me? I, well, we know that, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, but Holly, Holly's saying that it's it was done by, it wasn't just Clive. Clive was being led astray well, because Agatha know. couldn't see it. So somebody else was talking instead we of Agatha. That, 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 that the Black Pharaoh messes with people, goes into people. We just, we just we heard just it. Saw it. We just, it, I don't, I think Hollister is sane. I think Hollister knows what he's doing. Well, God he help us. Crap, 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 crap. crap, crap, crap. So I've got the people by the hand and I'm yeah, they are nice and calm. Yep, I was about to say, and we're gonna go now into the truck and we're gonna go find my good friend Don Julio, who's gonna help us rid the world of evil because he has that power. He is quite an amazing exorcist. He can exercise anything, including <laughs> evil in the desert. Right this way, ladies and gentlemen. Like I now turn into like a, like a cruise director. I was like, right this way, ladies and gentlemen, to the back of the truck. One episode to become a cruise director. They uh, they uh, rolled an 09 on their on their uh, collective sand roll, so they're like, yeah, okay. I mean, you can't see anything. What's wrong? Nothing. <laughs> Cardinal, I've heard of Cardinal Don Julio. So, but and I he's know here. that Holly went after him. him in the hole, right? You went after him what? down down the tunnel, then. Yes. They're blind. They won't notice. Uh, yeah. Yeah, what, but, yeah. We don't want to go in the truck. Don't go in the truck. What, right, what's in the, what what's in the truck? truck? What's in but the truck? I want to sit down. I don't want to walk. I want to sit. They want to sit. Remember when you like sit. hurled in the truck and stuff? Listen to Joan. They've got, they've got no eyes. Joan. It doesn't matter what's in the truck. Shut up, Donald. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Did, hmm. Was he speaking metaphorically? Absolutely, and I pull out some random. I was gonna look for this before I started the show, but like I was gonna look for the blind cannot see and the like the <laughs> blah blah blah. Somebody nice. who's actually religious, please fill in the blanks make with a Bible. A, verse. Yeah, make me a religion roll. It's wonderful. Oh, actually, I do have some of this. I, I, mean, I could. 
What did you, what? There's but a what I act like, I actually, do, oh, Hachi Machi, as Ezra would say, um, out of 63, oh my God, it's almost an extreme success. My extreme would be 12 and I rolled a 13. Very nice. So yeah, you, you have a perfect uh, scripture ordainment yeah. here about, you know, uh, someone dealing with blindness and, you know, crosses they have to bear and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And they're just like, of course, yes. And they are following <laughs> you. You know, they are happy to follow you. Uh, religion is such a useful tool. Right. Well, I, I, I know I'm not going to make it that long. I just, everything's crumbling around us. Let's just go now. Let's just go. That, where, where are we going? To the pyramids. Hollister is by himself in the tunnels. We, we can't, we can't do this. We All can right. leave him. He, he. I'm not, I'm not going to. What are you saying, Alex? You, you're, you're gonna make me help the guy who killed Clive? I, I think he's the only sane person in the whole party. Entirely possible. All right, it, sound, it, sounds mm -hmm. like, it sounds like in order to get the people to the pyramid, we're gonna need to split up. What, no, what, Alex, what are you saying? <laughs> I, hate, I hate the sentence, we're gonna have to split up. Um, they're gonna need someone with them who can defend them, Donald. Right, what, what are you saying? I'm saying that you need to go with them and I'm going to follow Hollister into the tunnel. Don't do it. I don't, I, I disagree, I think we all go. If one goes, we all go, or we all take the truck. Emma's right, the, these people are more important. I, I, the doctor, I, I respect the doctor, these people are more important. We have to get them safely there. Does you the truck go in the hole? No, it doesn't. Ooh. <laughs> I was like, ooh, that's the I best did. of both worlds. I get to ride and to go in the hole. <laughs> yeah. I don't suppose there's any bikes here. <laughs> not there, but how big are these doles? And Joan, you can summon and find one. Ignore me, I'm not here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not leaving. I Hollister. hear Dr. Hollister's voice <laughs> in my head. I'm not leaving Hollister by himself in, in those tunnels. So either... Either you let me go and, ta and take the rest of the people in the truck, or we're going. But we need to make a decision. We need to make it now. What? The, the doctor is on his own course. This is more important. This, our mission is with Emma and these people. But he said he was going after. After who? Don. Don Julio. Mm -hmm. Because Don Julio is the exorcist who will clean all evil from a space. Hey, look, best of, best of both worlds. We don't have to deal with mm -hmm. Clive anymore. We just have to deal with Don Julio, who doesn't like us. Yep, exactly. I mean, I might not make it, but <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> take a squig out of my little like flask. I'm like, hey, I might not make it, but whatevs. He actually agrees with you, but he feels that you're the evil that he is cleansing from the earth. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Alex, let's stay with these people. Um, Hollister will be fine. He'll find that crazy exorcist fella. They'll meet us at the pyramids. We'll just title this episode, Hollister Will Be Fine. <laughs> Speaking of which, Scott Parsons Spoo? I don't know. How do you say that, Scott? P-A-R-S-O-N-S-P-S-U. How would you say that? S -S He's from Pacific S -S State University. Him yeah, and, that's him and uh, what's his name? The little blonde guy. God, maybe I am going senile. Uh, <laughs> wasn't Pacific State University that horrible 80s like school comedy with uh, David Spade? Oh, uh -huh. What? And is that the little block? Anyway, there's a thousand for Hollister to, to hopefully survive. Oh, there we go. Apparently Portland State University, uh -huh. not Pacific State. But I bet you it was probably that university was probably based on Portland. You know, he's a Rhodes Scholar. Because okay. he went to Rhodes? That was... <laughs> what? He's on the road. He's a road yeah. scholar. That was... They tried to make it sound like the Supreme Court nominee. They called her a road scholar because road she scholar. went to like Rhodes road. State University yes. or something. <laughs> yes. Like Rhode Island University. Yeah, yeah. She's a road scholar. Um, All right. Uh, God, I am so torn at this point because riding in the truck would be cool, but going after Holly, they've convinced me that he knows what he's doing. And also, you said there's something in the back. I'm gonna say this quietly so the people don't hear it. There's something in the back of that truck. 
it was pretty disgusting for a while. There's lots of blood and vomit. I'm, I'm taking the tunnel. <laughs> we'll, we'll clean the truck. Don't go down there. Shoot, shoot, shoot. We're running out of time. Guys, we're running out of time. Are we? I thought we had like two days. What day is it? It is the afternoon of oh, June 4th. Okay. No matter so, yeah, what, I mean, June, we, no matter what, Joan uh, is going to be yeah, screaming, okay. screaming. I mean, Joan, we have 24 hours to get to the middle of the desert. I forgot <laughs> last, how last time did it take us like a half a day to get out there? It takes like four hours, yeah. Yeah. That's nothing. That's nothing. Joan, um, are you all right? No. John? No, my body is falling apart as we speak, and we have no time. Speaking of having no time, we're going to go to break. Oh. So, what? I was like, what? Hang on. <laughs> uh, so we're going to do another giveaway here at the break. We are actually, uh, uh, we're going to be giving away a copy of the second edition, uh, a PDF copy of the second edition of Harlem Unbound, which uh, I've talked about at great length, so I won't talk about much more, but is one of, I think, the best RPG supplements ever written. Um, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's great, not just for, the, uh, not just for the, the actual subject matter, which is talking about role-playing in Harlem in 1920s New York, which is fascinating, but also for the way that it, it, um, it gives players and GMs ways to deal with tough material in a game. And I, I, um, I, I have found, like, I've read that chapter several times. I think it's, it's, it's really, uh, I believe at the time I used the, the erudite uh, review word, it was revelatory. <laughs> uh, so hashtag chaos to, for your chance to win that. And we will be back just as soon as six people can use six bathrooms and I have another piece of ice cream cake. <laughs> I'm gonna...
Welcome back, internet friends. I've got some work to do to spend 13 inspiration here. That is, uh, that is gonna, that is my challenge. Uh, uh, if you're just joining us, wow, are you gonna be confused? Uh, so we are about to do the drawing for uh, the copy of Harlem Unbound, and then because our old pal Chad Barr is just as stupid as the rest of you, he gifted a bunch of subscriptions. Thank you so much, Chad. And uh, we are going to immediately give away a Nord Games deck of a kind that Amy told me about and I can't remember. Uh, whatever this is. <laughs> whatever that is. I can't, I can't read that says, from here. And I have good eyes. That's the kind of crackerjack marketing you get with Quests and Chaos. We're giving away whatever the hell this is. Whatever you want. I don't care. Just come in here and take some stuff. Uh, so last chance for Harlem Unbound get in there and get uh, uh, that for the PDF version of Harlem Unbound. By the way, the PDF version comes with the, it comes with a, G, a PDF GM screen. It comes with uh, uh, all the characters and an extra module. So it's like a whole, it's like a whole thing. It's a whole so thing. So how does that work? If you, do you print the PDF screen and then just put it on the screen? Yeah, yeah. You can get one of those that has the like pockets in it and you can oh, put neat. it in the pocket. Oh, that's that cool, yeah. I know or that a dog might make some of those. If one has a laminating machine, mm. one could, you know. If one does. I'm a fan of the laminator. Uh, by the way, I noticed during the break that there's a Ted uh, thing in the chat. There's now a Mimi thing in the chat. <laughs> How do we get a Great Dane Society? How do we get like breakfast before blood magic or something? Well, those are, the, 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 those are all NPCs. So clearly we need one for the Duchess. Ah, the Duchess. Oh. Uh, yeah. Nobody well, wants to. But how do you skill? type out, ooh? <laughs> no, it's just, ha it's like exclamation point Duchess, and then it says, abode of a woman. It should be what? <laughs> <laughs> Battleship of a woman, yeah. A battleship like of a it. woman. I like and it. it. Okay, so should I roll it? Do it, Let's yeah. Let's see what happens. Lucifer Vilchak right. suggests we, it, it's it's uh, exclamation point Bertram. Bertram, <laughs> yes. Okay, Nightbot, here's to winning for you. Oh, the Muffin it's Mage. It's the Muffin Our Mage. Favorite pastry. Yeah. My favorite page, pastry based uh, arcane caster. Cheers, mate. Uh, so okay. if you will, uh, Muffin Mage, if you'll whisper your email address to uh, Quests and Chaos, uh, we will get that out to you. Mm -hmm. uh, All right. And we now, hashtag we Chaos for a Nord Games deck of who knows what variety. Um, I don't know. Treasure deck CR one through four. What does that mean? Like, is this Ooh. like loot in this yeah, thing? That's loot. That's, yep. a, that, that, that's a loot deck. A Nord okay. Games loot deck. There you go. Hashtag chaos for a Nord Games loot oh, deck. Oh, look at <laughs> the sorcerer. <laughs> that is outstanding. Oh, Tamaga Thora just made me laugh. He called him the strudel sorcerer. Oh, is he a strudel is a, is a pastry? I, no, I don't think a muffin's a pastry. I think it's I, cakes and pastries, and the muffin mage is is of the cake variety. America I, has ruined the muffin. Like, who would ever make a bran muffin? What is wrong with you people? I think I've I think I've said this before, but I actually have a whole unifying theory of desserts that is based on the entire scale is muffin or cupcake, because cupcakes are good. And all muffins are is not good cupcakes. No, and so no, no, like no. Carrot, cake, <laughs> carrot cake is a muffin. Chocolate no, cake carrot cake is, a cupcake. is good. Oh. oh, what about oh. blueberry muffins? What about blueberry muffins? Are terrible that, cupcakes. You're wrong. No, those are good. You're objectively wrong. You and are. Muffins bad, cupcakes good, and you can like no. put every dessert. Every dessert is either a muffin or a cupcake. I'm, oh, I'm man, gonna we could wander. debate this for a while, people. No, I'm gonna wander off and get a drink while you guys talk about it. Hang on a second. Just really quick, and I know we're just, this is not, but am I carrot cake or am I a blueberry muffin? What? What? I don't On get either. I like you too much to call you, I like you too much to call you either of those things. Like, because you have you ever had a carrot cake cupcake with cream cheese frosting? Oh, okay. no, I don't like carrot cake. It doesn't so, matter. It's still cake. That would be a muffin, muffin of a cupcake. Eats it. A muffin of a cupcake. <laughs> Is that the name of our next thing? A muff. It's a muffin of a cupcake. <laughs> Can we please use that line as, as next week's episode title? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, yes we can. I'm just saying, on the scale of good to brand muffin, 
<laughs> what what kind of muffin am I? No, all muffins are on the scale of brand muffin. You are lemon poppy seed. Mm. Oh, that's an insult, sir. What? I what love lemon. What are you talking about? It's a terrible muffin. No, it isn't. You're a terrible it's muffin. A terrible muffin. <laughs> like, look, look, okay, look, the best oh. muffin is a chocolate chip muffin, and that's because it just wants to be a cupcake. No, it isn't. Yeah, it's closer to a cookie. She's out. If it's closer to something, it's closer to being a cookie. It's denser. <sighs> All well, I know okay. that people, I mean, all really, I know is that people give you a hard time if you have a muffin top, uh, so, you know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna roll again for the, the treasure deck or whatever right. this is. Last now chance that... for hashtag chaos. Well, not last Elder chance, Brat. Elder Brat has won the uh, Nord Games uh, loot deck. Treasure, yep, Congratulations. loot deck. Yeah, you are not a muffin, thank you. <laughs> you. You are, you know what, Elder Brat, you're a cupcake in my book. Oh. I don't really. Don't let my wife hear me say that. <laughs> She's already eaten all the cake. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, like, like she watches this crap. I know. Okay. Uh, and the muffin mage also, to point out the best muffin is banana nut. I don't like know who saying, should get that because I That's like I saying feel dying like, in your sleep is the best way of dying. You're still dying. It is. It is. No, I'm just saying if you got to go. That goes, that goes to us, I think, because, because we're defending muffins. Don't defend muffins. Nobody, you should. Uh. Yes, I will. You can't. I will. Me. I like muffins. Mm -hmm. All a muffin is is a cupcake that wasn't good enough. No. Ooh. Ooh. I, 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 will, I will wander away to put fireball in this drink if you keep this up. I don't know what that means. Don't make fire, you like you're fireball casting liquor. fireball. Yeah, she's yeah. going to cast fireball. Pour the fireball yeah. whiskey into it. To oh, it. fireball's a drink. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes it is. It's a kind can, of whiskey. Well, wow. you've hit desperate times. <laughs> I like I fireball, but I like adding it to apple cider because it gives it that um, cinnamon ah, apple flavor. That's good. That's good. I had okay, no I have to remember that. that. Fireball was... Things that non-drinkers don't know. Yes, there is a drink called Fireball. I've got a bottle of it in my fridge. Yep, I've got a bottle of it on the counter. <laughs> <laughs> I like keeping right it cold. To, right next to the paper towels. <laughs> <laughs> the important things, fireball, paper towels. Um, hopefully the two are not like somehow connected. <laughs> um, okay. What's the next thing we're doing? So we're trying to we, figure out what the fuck we're doing. We're back in the character here. God. <laughs> no, hold on. Tom has to method act. Yeah, I, I need a moment here, you know? <laughs> um, your night. motivation is it's Saturday night. I'm, so uh, okay. I'm out of this scene because I'm just. Because yeah. <laughs> um, you're pissed about the lemon poppy scene. Yeah, he's so <laughs> mad about the muffins. <laughs> I don't even know you anymore, Ezra. <laughs> you know what? Next year, we'll all have ice cream cake. You can enjoy a muffin. Yeah, ice cream muffin. Ice cream bread no, muffin. And then you do not put ice cream and muffin in the same. Oh. <laughs> I bet someone has. I bet that's good. But like, Ooh. oh, okay. Rocky Road, the muffin of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip. You son the of a- cupcake of ice cream. I grew up on Rocky Road. I love Rocky Road. Me too. That's one of my Moose mom's tracks. favorites. Oh, Rocky the Road best. is terrible. You're just Rocky Road is like my mom's today. favorite. Stop insulting her favorite ice cream. I mean, the only thing sadder than Rocky Road is Spumoni. I don't know what that is. Uh, oh my okay. god. Yeah. Spumoni I, I, is old people ice cream. Okay. Spumoni is like the three strips, one strawberry. That's no, that's Neapolitan. That's, that's Neapolitan. Neapolitan. That's Neapolitan. Spumoni, Spumoni is something closer different. to like, um, it's a good is it Spumoni? Like, Sherbert. Yeah. Right? That's gelato. what I keep thinking about. Yeah. Neapolitan is disgusting and I will agree with you on that. <laughs> it's all good. We just leave the strawberry for somebody else. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's that's exactly what you do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> welcome to our new. Uh, we have welcome to our new un untitled. Uh, uh, we're gonna start a um, you know Warren Warren and Aaron talk about movies. We're gonna talk about mm. dessert. Yes. Um, and we're we'll gonna call be it, doing and and, and 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 we'll call it between muffins and cupcakes. Yeah, that's right. The muffin cupcake yeah. war. Uh, yep. That will next week we'll be doing a recap of the Great British Baking Show. Ooh. Yeah. Did you? By the way, in the first episode of that, one of the women 
you know, they do the description of the characters and in the very British way, they said, in her spare time to relax, she listens to Viking death metal. I love her. I'll do it. I love moment. her already. It was a, a fascinating thing. Um, you know, what's even weirder is that um, there's electronic Viking death metal as well. We used to listen to it at work every once in a while, just because. Electronic, like, oh, is the electronic- I gotta write that down. What? What is the adjective electronic modifying? Is it on modifying uh, a Viking or metal? metal is it electronic Viking it's or metal? Is... Yeah. It's the metal part. So it's like electronic heavy metal Viking. It's like electronic Viking death metal was kind of, yeah. Anyway. Oh. Right over there, Tom. The Back muffin you mage has oh, just no. injured me. The muffin mage has just really first. hurt me. What happened? He said that a muffin is just a cupcake without icing. That's wrong. It can be. No, that's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Cake no. Muffins. No. I'm with you on that. Yeah. yeah, you could put frosting on a lemon poppy seed muffin and it's a cupcake. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's better, <laughs> but it's not a cupcake. Well, it depends on the frosting. You could put some pretty crappy, like, store frosting on that and you'd just ruin that. Uh, Any muffin. frosting would make them a muffin better. You're wrong. <laughs> You're objectively wrong. Like, you could probably. I don't know what's. I'm trying to think of like the worst frost. The like cream cheese frosting. Yeah, I thought, I thought Joan was going mad. What? These guys. <laughs> cream cheese Nick, frosting. Stop, the best. Nick, stop toying with the person who holds your fate in his hands. Actually, we're just wasting time okay. so he doesn't use all of these bits. <laughs> I, I'm gonna. We're, I'm gonna inspire the same roll 13 times. You can't. We've already established the precedent. You can only do it once per roll. Is it a all birthday right. rule? I'm no. gonna start. A, I'm gonna start a. You know what? You can do whatever you want if you admit that muffins are fine. Ooh. I don't make deals with terrorists. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> we lost Tiana. <laughs> She's gone. Uh. <laughs> All right. What the hell are we doing? <laughs> Happy birthday, Ezra. <laughs> Happy birthday. Well, um. Uh, it says something that the frickin' bard mitten was more on point than this show. <laughs> uh, all right. You're really making me cry. I'm laughing so fucking hard. God damn um, it. All right. So yeah. when, 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 before the, before the great uh, baking schism of uh, 2020 started, uh, we were, we were giving away a lot of stuff. We have one more giveaway Ooh. on the stream uh towards Ooh. the end of the show we will be giving away one more copy of the call of cthulhu coloring book uh, and don't forget youtube you've got a chance mm. to win your uh uh win one copy of the co uh, coloring book as well uh so yeah you guys were deciding whether or not mm. as dr hollister we have a we have a a, a little montage of dr hollister starting to walk down this dark cave with a torch and a um, a small crate of food and like sad Hulk music playing as he, you know, as he's going along uh, alone. And the rest of you are uh, out there. Oh my gosh, they have created a Bertram. Yep. So yep. it is, if you put in exclamation point Bertram in the chat, you get the Duchess is on every ship. She is a battleship <laughs> of a woman. Well, there you go. That uh, salute to whoever put that one in there. That that pretty much sums her up. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe it's gonna be uh, my name is Tidwell, madam. <laughs> <laughs> you say Bertram. <laughs> <laughs> Even Thomas is laughing in the other room. <laughs> that was good. That would be good. <laughs> oh no! On fire today, sir. So. Uh, uh, all right. So good, good old birthday streams. Everyone not named Hollister, uh, what are you doing? Uh, let's, let's, let's get these people into the truck. Let's get them safely to our next location. Is, is, is it, I've seen the truck. I've run alongside the truck. Is it big enough for all of us? Oh yeah, you can jam a bunch of people in there. It's, okay. a, it's like one of those troop trucks. We'll take the supplies as well, load it all. There's, the, there's less stuff in it now, so. There's only one less crate. Don't even with me. <laughs> we we brought a bunch of surprises as well. Oh, so so, Alexandra, you want to go after Do after Holly? Yes. Alex, you're staying with us. I beg your pardon. 
I said, let's go after Holly. Alex, you don't go down there. What? If you can't, if, if he's going to die, there's nothing you can do about it. If he doesn't, he'll be fine. If he doesn't die, <laughs> he'll be fine. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That was, yes. We don't have time for this argument even. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't, would that demonetize us with YouTube? Because that might have been so <laughs> For the 60 cents of per episode or whatever, I don't care. <laughs> That's fair. That, yes, I, I agree. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to walk over, over to Donald and just like cup his, his elbows in my hands and just look up at him and go, I'm not going to be able to help much on in, in, in the truck. Either you'll get there or you won't. Yeah. You, you'll help plenty if something happens to us on the way there. I'll be able to help Even if it. in the desert will need you. If something happens in, in, in those tunnels, I can help Hollister, and he's the sanest of us at the moment. Don't, don't do it. I, I'm, not, I'm not doing well. I'm not, if something like this happens to you, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 need, I need you to stay with us. Stay with me, please. You, you, you saw what you saw what just happened. I did. I'm not, I'm not holding this together that well. I don't know what it is. It's this whole situation, it's all fucked up situation. I, I, we all those people, we had all those people. We needed all those people. They're gone. We have five left. That's just, just not even enough. Four. God, four, we have four people left. What do we need? Eleven? What, what, what are we doing out here? In this fucking desert. The best that we can. What are we doing? We're gonna ride these four people out in the desert where the black pharaoh and all of his creatures are coming from the sands. And then what? What will we do? We're gonna die out here. You'll die in that fucking tunnel. Alone. All right. Let's just let's try to get these these people out. I don't know what Emma's going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, I can tell you what what neither of you are going to do. Neither of you are driving. That's fine with me. <laughs> <laughs> so you're loading everybody up in the truck? Yeah, it sounds like it. Look at the rest of the supplies that we've got. You know, what we saved from the boat at least. Uh, luckily, Emma is doing a good job of keeping the four people calm. And, yeah, I was like, I'm loading you know, them into the back of the truck so they can't, like, they're busy shuffling and doing whatever. <laughs> they're not hearing that these people are going to die part of the conversation. <laughs> so so I, I I don't hear their conversation, but I do see Alexandra going with Donald, going, and I'm like... Yeah, heading towards the truck. <clears throat> Crap. <sighs> what, what do we do about Holly? He'll, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. What if he, what if he goes and he goes with Don Julio and he gangs up with him against us? I need to go, I need to go and break that up. I need to go. What? And John, I don't why, know what you've been doing. Why, the, why the, would he gang up with Don Julio against us? Well, he, he, he shot. And you heard why. I don't think he knew that he was being played. I think he should, we should have talked to him or something. Maybe. Not just killed him. Uh, maybe. But sometimes, sometimes you have to make that decision in a split second and live with the consequences. It's not easy. No. Well, then if you guys think he made the right decision, I should go after him. But the decision's been made. John, what can you do down there? Those tunnels. God knows what made those tunnels. What strength? Well, I have a crowbar oh, and I have a rifle. Tunnels. And you know exactly what made those tunnels. We don't know you. I don't know you know that. No, no either. <laughs> Joan, I 
I can hold my own down there if I absolutely had to. You're not, you don't have the same training that I do and we need you to, to, to help us get there. I think we need you for the ritual, Joan. You're the only one that can do this. If Hollister does it and doesn't make it, we need to have someone who knows what they're doing with all of this, which isn't me. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, don't you have something to help him in your book? What was what was the book? A song of the Doll, whatever that book was about. Send in the dolls. Um, the the. It was. They're already here. <laughs> Yeah, don't you have something in the book to help him? What what what's in the books that might what's in the book that might help him? I don't know. I don't read the books anymore. <laughs> I know. Right. Do. I don't read the books anymore. <laughs> books. Books. Clive has books. We need to get all of his books. Where is he book? might have more stuff in the books that will help. <sighs> So I'm going to do that. I'm, that's what I'm going to do. You guys getting ready. I'm going to grab um, all, any books and anything he's got. So the books, apparently Clive was sleeping in the truck. And so the books are, there's like a, a small box, a little chest that has, you know, Perfect. seven books in it that Perfect. seem to be what he has left. All of these Perfect. as well. Mm -hmm. uh, are you going to like go through the books, Joan? Yes. Okay. Uh, make me a luck roll. Can't tell if I want you to succeed or fail this one. <clears throat> 61. Yes, that makes it. Okay. Oh, geez, you got luck, lady. Uh, I do. Make me a Cthulhu Mythos roll. <sighs> I'm like, I was going to grab the inspiration. I was like, no, nope. <laughs> You've got the most of that of anyone in this group, I think. I think so. No, I don't make it. it All right. Yeah, you think there are a number of tone. You don't. You're not recognizing anything offhand. Um, you are not seeing that copy. You would recognize the Necronomicon. Gotcha. Um, but you you think there are a number of titles here that would be very interesting. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think we have enough time for me to go digging through all of his stuff. But this here, this is it. I'll keep, I'll read these on our way out. Okay. All right. And and and, and while and while she's digging through that, I remember that that she said that uh, Hollister killed Clive, and so I'm going to go and like look for the body. I imagine it's in our way. I'd like to get it out of our way. Okay. Yeah. You you run up to the front, uh, and you see a pool of blood, and you see a trail of bloody footprints heading off into the desert. Bitch. I'm 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 gonna take off running after the, after those bloody footprints. Do, do I see her going? Yeah, you see Alexandra just take off running into the desert. Uh, apparently, I, I'm I'm gonna get out. What? Stop what I'm doing. I'm chasing after. Her. All right. So uh, Emma and Joan. Uh, Joan, uh, they just ran out of here. Take the keys. I I can't drive. I can drive. Should we just? Okay. Should we go? Are we all Are we all ready? I mean, I think we are. I guess so. I mean, most of the supplies were already in the truck, so it's pretty yeah. much the people and, you know. Yep. So we usher them in, and I give Joan the keys. I'm like, I can't drive. Get in. All right. I can drive. Okay. Oh, can we drive real slow like and just watch the action like this from the car window? <laughs> <laughs> Probably safer. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, I, I'll we'll go after. All right. Um, are you going to try and um drive i mean you'll you'll definitely catch up with alexandra and uh donald fairly quickly um are you gonna try and like zoom are you gonna drive this truck out it's you're gonna be off-roading it so you can drive um, well, cautiously I'm thinking and cautiously okay i, I cautiously because yeah, I, I you know i don't know if i want to catch up to them <laughs> no and i'm well, gonna yell slow down because they can't see I've got weak kidneys or whatever. You know, I can't. I can't deal with the bouncing around right now. <laughs> I've got weak kidneys or whatever. But we got to get to them. We got to pick them up. We got to get. Well, like them. I said, you will okay. get to Alexandra. But Donald I need my teeth and my mouth. I can't like be bouncing around like a crazy person in this truck. Slow down. <laughs> All right. So, um, Alexandra and Donald, the truck comes groaning out of the warehouse and quickly bears you just down hear on. Yelling. 
slow down. <laughs> and and quickly uh, uh, bears down on both of you. I'll I'll note that and, and just keep moving, following the track, the, the the trail of bloody footprints. Okay. The oh, truck. Uh, so the truck is going to the basically like you're gonna like pull up next to them and yell get in right yeah yes. so the truck like pulls up next to you and yell and you know Jones like get in I yell back footprints oh, nice. Clive kept moving oh crap okay um where do you, do you want us to wait for you here just follow us. Just okay. keep running. Like I'm not. I'm not even worried about the logistics of it at the moment. I'm just yeah. like this. This needs to end. This needs to end now. Okay. okay. So, uh, you are uh, Joan. You're becoming acutely aware that you are not on a road and you are just driving. Like you've you've now, uh, after about two minutes of them moving forward, you've left the city, and you are now just yeah, heading into I, the desert. I don't know if I can keep truck uh, it's sand. Uh, no idea. Nope. We're, we lost you a little bit there, Joan. Okay, Should we head back? Should... Ah. Just, uh, um, you're back. You're good. Um, I, I keep getting these flickers. Yeah. Okay. I was getting these flickers. I'm like, shoot. I don't know if I can keep on the, I don't know if I can keep this, the sand. I don't want to have to pull this thing out of the sand. Emma, what should we do? Well, then let's wait, see where Alexandra goes and then go. Or actually, you know what? Okay. Wait, let me see what's in the back of the truck. Yeah, let's, I'm just gonna wait right here. We're gonna stop for a second. Uh, so, so what are you looking for? Um, so being in New York, I know what it's like to, I mean, I don't drive, but I see the cars like slipping around. Sure. So, but like, what do they do when they get stuck in the snow? <laughs> Cat litter. Uh, yeah, that too. But like you put some, you know what I mean? Like you put something under the wheel. or something so that will let you get out. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so I'm gonna look I, in the back of the car. Sand under the window. <laughs> exactly. So, um, a lot of sand. So it looks like, um, um, yeah, you find a, uh, it looks like there's a, sh there's definitely a spade. Yeah. There's a, there's okay. a spade there that, that seems they use to dig uh, stuff. Um, if we have but crates, we can, for the we most can... part, it looks like this truck was dry, was like not made to drive in the sand. Damn it. We're going to have to wait. I can't afford to go any farther and then it's got to hit okay. me. We're going to have to feed the people in the back too. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Well, is there some place around here that looks? We're in the desert. I know it's not. How far back was the last shade or shelter type thing? So I mean, there's there's on the outskirts of town. You're about two minutes out of town, and that's about where the trees stop. So let's okay, find. So let's go back. Go under a tree. Wait for them to come back. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can't do. Uh, oh, this. are we there? We just. Uh, no, nope, uh, not yet. No, We're gonna stop no. for a break in a minute, like pound on the back. All right. Um, <laughs> all right. So, uh, Donald and Alexandra, uh, you head out into the desert. Uh, it is, um, it is not hard to follow these tracks, um, but you don't have a sense of how long, uh, you know, how sort of what kind of a head start. Um, the blood seems to stop pretty early, and now you're just following footprints. How long ago did did we did we hear? Like, because Joan came back very shortly after um, Hollister killed Clive. It's true. Clive. There was, uh, you know, there was a. She came back very quickly, but you stayed in that room for a while. There was also some philosophical discussions about, our, you know, will we, won't we, that sort of thing. We had a whole lot of talk about muffins. <laughs> what do you think? He's got a 15, 20 minute lead on us, but he's wounded, but the blood stops. What do you think? He... He's, he's moving slower than we are. So you, neither of you, yeah, um, neither of you, according to Joan, he's not wounded, he's dead. Right. But he's, he's up and walking and I just, I have to accept that that's the case. Because we've seen weirder. We've seen weirder at this point. <laughs> Yeah, I think the first assumption is he just survived. I don't know how. Wait, either either he survived or he's being driven. Let's but find the, out. The second one is much worse. Yes, it uh, is. Do we see any mountains, any rocks, anything in front of us that he might be hiding? There, there, there. There's sand dunes. Like the you see stretching off about a quarter mile, 
you see the footprints going up a sand dune and then cresting and presumably going over. Okay. Just take off and take off in that direction. More trotting now than running because it's hard to maintain as a sprint. So you're in the desert <laughs> in the heat of the afternoon. Yeah. And um, the truck has left you behind. The truck is not following anymore. Um, once you're over the rise of this, you will be out of sight of the truck. Yep. Got it. Uh, and yeah, okay. Uh, so you you um, crest the rise, and you immediately notice that whatever your Clive, your um, he like fell down the front of these dunes. And then the steps start again up the next dune. There's just this constant rolling. And well, the tracks appear to still be fresh. The wind hasn't washed them away, so we're we're still we should be close to them. We still have time. And just and just like run, slide down the side of the down the side of the, of the dune. Like like take a couple of steps and then just like slide down a bit. <laughs> yeah, got Leo me then. I'm just gonna... I used to do that down down hills all the time, where where I would half run, half slide. Uh. Yeah, all right, so you you continue this for about 10 minutes. And then you, uh, you, you crest a rise and um, you come into like a valley. And as you, you see that once again, Clive fell down this thing. And then at the bottom, it almost looks like an antlion sort of thing. There's like a pit in the sand. Oh no. I'm going to approach that very slowly. Careful. Like testing testing each step before I take it. All right, yeah, you're coming down, you know, you're being careful, but you are coming down an incline that is very slippery. So mm -hmm. um, it is, it seems like, again, when, when, uh, when the decline hits the flat, that's where that kind of weird pit is. Okay, I'm gonna aim a little bit to the side of it so that if I do slip, I don't go rolling into the, into the, into the pit. I'm being just just careful. Yeah. Yeah. I'm crystal drawn at this, but uh, just careful steps. Uh, I'm, somebody doesn't know what. An, so an ant lion is an insect. Uh, they they dig a little pit in the sand, and ants fall into it and can't uh, get out, and they slowly fall down, and then the ant lion eats them. Just called a sarlock pit. They know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, true. Everyone knows what a sarlacc pit is, yep. not. Everyone knows anyway. what an ant lion is. Come on. It's first of all, it's like the coolest insect name possible. Mm. Yeah. I don't know why they. I mean, I don't know where the lion comes from. Not a lot of lions are digging pits and waiting for things. Not really. Maybe it's the wide open mouth thing. Oh. Maybe yeah. It's, it's Although, the I'm king sure. of the insect jungle. <laughs> uh, so. Um, oh, sorry. No. Now the queen, that might be the queen. Mm. It doesn't go well for the male praying mantises. It's true. Uh, so you, um, yeah, you come down and, and again, there's like a, a gentle kind of pit in the sand that definitely comes to a specific point. Lean and very care very carefully over to look. All right, so you, you pop your head over mm -hmm. um, and you see at the, the 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 at the point at the apex of the I guess that would be the would that be the perigee I don't know what the at the at the at the point of the pit um, is the half blown is the is the head sticking out of the sand of Dr Henry Clive with a large chunk blown out of one side of it. Just the head. I mean that you can see. Is he, the the rest of the body perhaps beneath the sand? Could be yeah. Probably, hopefully. Hopefully, uh, Alex, Alex, don't don't get any closer to it. It's a trap. Well, that's that's why you're here with the gun. Yeah, so I'll pull the pistol out. I'll take careful aim. I'll take a, take a, a turn for game purposes. No, no, you you will you you, you are a killer. Uh, so yeah, you fire, um, and you hit you hit the head and blow another chunk off of it, and um, there seems to be no reaction. I'll take a, a couple more shots to see if it changes anything. <laughs> Why not? Uh, all right, yeah, you. Um, we are horrible people. You blow, yeah, you you blow several holes in. 
Clive's head. There is no reaction at all. Okay. I'm going to look around to see if there's any indication of, I mean, we just saw a head without the rest of the body. I'm going to look around to see if there's any indication of something similar going on here. Where like the rest of the body walked off or something. No, you don't see any more tracks. It does, I mean, it does seem like that head is, you know, it's not just his head. It's his whole body submerged. Okay. Well then. Well, let's just say he's dead and call the day. Sounds good to me. And pray to God it doesn't come back to bite us in the arse. I'll kind of, I'll kind of help, help you out so we don't slip into this mess. Yeah. Uh, it's at that point the earthquake starts. That was worried about. Uh, and so um, the first thing that happens is you notice that like sand starts to like pour down the side and it starts to like hit Clive's the the you know the the remains of Clyde's head and um the Clive body um uh, yeah sure uh so I will make you guys make a roll the the Clive body does the or the head does like a corkscrewing down I have, whatever what, whatever it was in is going down I'm pulling all the yeah uh, and both of you makes me dex rolls. Yeah, at least we're good at that. <laughs> success. Uh, hard success. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, you're both, you easily dance out of the way. The pit gets a little larger, but not too much larger. And the earthquake seems to subside. Okay. All right, well, is it one of those, is it whatever made those tunnels? Oh, that's right. That's those stories about those things that create the dig the tunnels underground. What were those called? Those those I things that, that I wish a person in the party had told us more about. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> whatever those creatures. It must be one of those creatures. It, it must be. All right, let's let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go back. And, to and start like hiking up the side of the the side of the dune. Sure. Yeah. So um, Emma and Joan. They're gone about a half an hour. Um, and you finally see them trudging back from a ways away. Okay. Um, so I yell out I the mean, window, we're running out of time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, Joan, we're, we've got bigger problems than out of time. Our fast moving, and again, I'm using this loosely, fast moving vehicle, um, won't go in the sand. What do we do? There is, I mean, I mean, there's a road, there are path, there's a path to the pyramids. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. Okay. It's just that following the, following the tracks of Clive would not have gotten you there. Okay. Random. Yeah. But there's a, okay, so we're good. There's a path, the, okay. the truck can go And do you on. know, do you remember how to get there? Sort of. I'm going to follow the path. Do I, I was like, hang on, let me roll for, I, mean, I don't know what. It's not a, so it's not a road. Before, I trust you. <laughs> you essentially, <laughs> I mean, you essentially know, like, it's that way. Okay. Okay, good. So we can get them in the truck and then we can go. We still have yes. plenty of time. Yep. Yep. Okay. And we'll get there in the morning and hopefully. Actually, you'll get there. So it's nine. about, you'll get there about nine o'clock at night. Mm, is that a good time to get there? Like, I don't want to get there right when the action's happening. <laughs> what Just action? In case. Who's action? Are we all in the truck again? Yeah, right. uh, yes. Yeah. We're still trudging. Okay. Have, have we you guys have gotten to the truck, and now, now you're deciding when we're going to go. Um, well, well, I'm assuming Clive's alive, and he's going to still do, or somebody's doing the ritual. I don't want to be there just in case. Nope. Clive's um, dead. Yeah. As, as a cl climb into the truck. Clive's dead. Something under okay. uh, under under the sand devoured it, devoured the Ew. body. It, it was Ew. it was inside of a like pit thing, and then it, there was an earthquake, and it started corkscrewing under the ground. Now, is that something I would have read about in the book about the doles that they do? Uh, no, nothing five. like that. Okay, I just I, 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 I mean, if she mentions the earthquake part, that definitely sounds. Uh, what, what are we supposed to do when we make it to the pyramid and um, all the guardians, the protectors, the children of the Black Pharaoh are there? That's what I'm saying is that we don't want to like go very fast, but we also need to make sure that something, you know what I mean? We need to make sure that Don Julio is like cleansed the area. 
I mean, somebody needs to make sure that he's able to do it and he knows what to do. He's going to meet us there. Then, then no, we- I don't know what is happening. That crazy man gets on the boat, yells something crazy, blah, blah, blah. All of a sudden we're on fire and then we're up at the ceiling or I don't know what I'm flying in the air. And then what I don't know. I, I don't have know. no idea why the exorcist I hear I hired who found out I was evil is mad at me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not saying I'm did... evil. I'm just saying there might be a problem here with you and I, Donald. <laughs> you were on fire. Why, what happened to us? I mean, we, we survived. What happened? I just, I can't take any more exorcisms. That's all I'm saying. All right. All did... right, but we need to make sure that it actually happens, which means that either Correct. we drive out there now or we follow my idea and I go out through the, through the tunnel to make sure that things happen. Let's drive out there then. And oh, then I drive back just in case I might die because of the exorcism. I mean, just 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 stay out of his line of sight. <laughs> if he doesn't know you're there, maybe he'll be more focused on all of the evil that's there. Maybe he already exercised the evil from you and you're fine now. Maybe you're an innocent. You might have the rest of them. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to laugh out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I say we take the truck out there and we uh, stay far enough back that we're not going to be in the ring around like fourth of july okay. fireworks exactly we'll just find a like a spot on a hill watch it all happen and we can stay okay. in the truck and the truck will protect us from things i like, like that the normal things yeah the truck will protect fine Let's the see. normal things the normal okay. things so you're okay with pulling up about 9 p.m i no, am but we're gonna have to let's do it okay uh, it, Dr. It, Hollis, it, it's that or spend another uh, or spend a night in that warehouse. And I am so against this idea. It actually nope. physically hurts. We got to go. We got to go. All right. Uh, Dr. Hollister. Yes. So um, you are walking down a alarmingly uniform 25 foot diameter round tunnel. Um, <laughs> I'm going a bit faster than walking because he's got a head start on me. Yeah. But yeah, it was, it was unnatural when I first saw it. Um, and about, about 10, about 10 minutes uh, um, of being down here. It's nice and cool. That's a nice thing. Uh, you hear, um, you hear noise up ahead. Yeah, I'm going to continue up ahead against all better judgment. It's it's a rumbling noise. Um, yeah, I mean, do I see anything? I mean, it's uniform. The, the tunnel's uniform, right? There's no other tunnels? Nope. This is a north... Um, I mean, this is a north-south-ish thing, and you're heading in the direction towards the pyramid. God help me. There you go. That hasn't worked yet. Uh, so, um, so yeah, you come up and you see uh, uh, um, somebody. You uh, you hear a voice uh, that that I don't think you recognize. Well, I was no, I was in yeah I was there for the uh, for the, the first exorcism when Emma was floating up. Uh, so this is a different voice. Okay. Um, but as the um, as the you hear a uh, um, uh, gun as is out as you're coming up with a gun and a and a uh, a torch out. So you're putting down the supplies. Yeah. Okay. You put down the crate of supplies, and you come forward, and um, you see a, a, a sad sight. You see um, the Duchess, uh, like slumped against the wall. And the the horrible rumbling that you rumbling you heard, uh, she's apparently snoring. And um, standing next to her, like as you're coming up, uh, is is Tidwell, and he like kind of emerges out of the shadows, as Tidwell does, and uh, and says, uh, um, "Oh, it's you, sir. Please do not." disturb the madam she needs her rest 
uh, too much to unpack here. Uh, did you see an exorcist come through? A small, possibly Hispanic man? Yes. He took one look at the mistress and said he didn't have time for that and continued on. Well, hate to echo his sentiment, but I, I have to be going too. Uh, you guys should get out of here. This is, the, the way that you're going is horribly dangerous. Just FYI, I'm gonna run back and get my supplies. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, um, once the madam has return to her senses, we will decide where to go. Okay. I, now, you run back, and he has already, like, gone back into the shadows. Um, he apparently is, like, uh, concealing himself behind the Duchess. Rolling with advantage. <laughs> um, and you continue on. Uh, and um, about, just about as you're starting to slow down from your pace, almost an hour, it's been, you've been going for a while. Uh, you're very glad that this thing is, is cool. Um, you hear like, um, you definitely hear someone up ahead of you. And you hear like, um, hey, hey, hey. Don Julio. Who's that? Who's there? Uh, it's, it's, I don't know if we, we formally met. My name is Dr. Hollister. Uh, if I recall correctly, you might need some medical attention. Are you a man of God? I'm a man who stands against evil. God hasn't been coming through for me as of late. Do not turn your back on the Lord, my son. But well, I would not say no to a doctor. Yeah, and it's my understanding. Uh, I have another reason here. It's not completely altruistic that you can banish evil. Um. Of course, my my faith is a weapon. And, and um, I'll start treating him while, while I'm talking. All right, he has an ugly knot on his head uh, from being knocked unconscious, from being a, 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 a pistol whipped with a rifle. I didn't kill him. probably have like a cold piece of iron or something to put against it or- Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take some, um, man some water. Some water. Yeah. Uh, and, um, and he will, um, let's see. Oh, let's hear it for insane people. He does not seem to recognize you. And he's definitely like, when you, when you get close and you start treating him, he seems like old and feeble. And, you know, getting, getting cracked across the skull was not great for him. Well, just, uh, here, let's let's rest really quickly. I'll give him some food and water. And then I'll pick out some of the buckshot that landed in me after I've taken care of him. <laughs> sure, yeah. Um, but do you, do you know where you're going? I'm going where the Lord takes me. Well, right now you're headed towards the pyramid of a false god. And as it just so happens, uh, there's a great evil there that needs to be exercised. If you're willing to do that, I will do anything in my power to help you. For someone who doesn't believe in the Lord, you are providence itself. Then, yes, lead, follow, let's go. All right, and uh, yeah, after after we've gotten a little bit of rest, I'll uh, I'll let him I'll, I'll put his arm around his shoulder and, and yeah, he's definitely moving slower than you are. 
he seems, you know, again, there's a sense of, you know, sort of how kind of sm old and, and weak he is. So he's light. I'm hearing that he's light. He, he is light, yes. Um, so yeah, you guys will continue on. And basically, you're going to walk for a long time. Yep. We're, we'll take breaks, too. Yeah. No. So you will get there several hours after the others. Not that you know they're getting there. But, you know, just to give everybody a relative sense of time, it's going to be, uh, well, let's see. Make me a luck roll. I'm looking over my shoulder being like, like, I'm sure one of them, I told Joan that, you know, if someone wanted to follow me, <laughs> not hearing any footsteps. <laughs> no, that's, that's a 95, no matter how I look at it. But All I right, so you will be under the pyramid at about midnight. I was able that'll, to talk Joan out, I, I was able to talk Joan out of that of thinking that you'd been controlled and possessed. That's the best I got for you, man. Uh, so, not that you'll be aware you're under the pyramid, but it will be about midnight. All right, so, um, nine o'clock, um, you, uh, you guys have pulled on to a, 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 a hill. Man, everybody wants to know about that Orient Express game. That's you don't. Really, it was <laughs> almost a marriage breaker. <laughs> oh. I'm just saying, somebody who's mad at somebody else, for a while. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it I'm wasn't sorry. you that killed me in no, ancient I didn't Rome. Kill you. No, you didn't die from me. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Well, I should have I'm killed sorry. you. What? Don't you remember? Thomas killed me. He turned yeah. in. Never mind. Oh, anyway. Oh, I thought you were talking about me. I thought you were talking about no. how I injected you full of stuff at that one time and then betrayed everyone. She said it was almost you a know, marriage breaker. You're not married to her. Yeah. And I was well, about to say, betraying the, the group, I mean, that's your thing. Whatever. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> the flaming great, everyone. That was one of the highlights of, uh, yeah, a lot of people died, but it was pretty epic. I, I, I still died say. With a handful of bourbon. Not died. I got thrown out of a train with a, handful, a glass full of bourbon. I still say that I'm never going to end. A, a, there's never going to be a better end to a scenario. That's right, oh. you are really fuzzy, my friend. Yeah. Yep. Let's see if I, I go in. There you go. We're yeah. back. We could play Apparently that. I can't, I have to like put the little box on the ground. This is, it's weird to sit so far away, but there you go. Uh, all right, we so. Again, we'd, we'd find a better ending. I just want to throw that out there. No, we wouldn't. If Emma's playing, there's <laughs> no way. Uh, uh, so yeah, you you guys pull, you you pull up on a bluff kind of overlooking the pyramids. Uh, and it seems make dinner. like, sure, yeah. yeah. You, if you want to start a fire, sure. Dinner and a show. Dinner and a show, yeah. Well, I hope it's a radio show for most of your guests. That's... <laughs> um, and yeah, they are hungry, so that is, that is fine. Um, are you gonna like make a little camp and have a fire and all that? It's I would say no cold. fire. I don't want to attract attention. Uh, we already have a truck up here in the bluff. Yeah, so I, I think a fire will be fine. If we need we, it. Well, and, and we, if we stay up on the bluff, we'll be pretty visible. If we go down between the pyramids, we won't be as visible, but boy, will we be in the middle of things. Mm -mm. So I think up here with a fire. Uh, we'll set up a camp up here. OK. Um, so you, you're you going around setting a camp. and. Uh, uh, everybody make me a, um, everybody make me a, uh, luck roll. Oh, yes. Ooh, 32. Mm. All right, everybody that missed it, make me a spot hidden roll. Boy. I missed it. All right, Alexandra. I don't like uh, your voice. <laughs> So you guys have been setting up your camp. It's been a little while. Emma is uh, keeping the the people nice and calm, and as as ladling out soup, and you know things are pretty well set up. And you are taking a minute to like look at the pyramids, and um, you would swear that you see uh, 
a line of eight figures walking out of the red pyramid. Do they look like the people who were in the warehouse? They do. And they are walking towards the bluff. I'm gonna like back up a few steps and just like slap out and 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 mm. whack down whack Donald on the shoulder. But like, look, oh, are those our missing paper? I think so. Come they up. are. They are. Um, they are walking very cautiously, like shambling. I'm gonna get my <laughs> rifle with my scope on it. Would this right. remind me of what we saw? Scope, what I see. Would Would this remind me of, of 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 what we saw in the basement in New York with the shambling? Okay. No, this seems more like blind people being told walk in that direction. Okay. And Come not on. knowing what's in that direction. Well, yeah, with your scope, you'll see like there's these people have been chained together at the legs. Um I'll tell you. They still have no eyes. And one of them, the front one, has like a shepherd's crook. And he's like using that to like feel his way. And they, I mean, it really looks to you like someone said, just walk that direction. I don't see anyone guiding them. They seem to be uh, not zombies nope. or what's not. Uh, it may just be our, our paper that we're missing. Yes, and how often has it been that easy? Emma! Who's sending them out? I'm coming here. here. Okay. Come here. On. <laughs> I'll stay in. What? Come yeah, what? What's Come happening? On. And I'll, I'll, I'll just point the rest of our people. That's a trap. Yeah, <laughs> that is so obviously a trap. It actually hurts. They're coming, they're coming to us, though. We, what, what do we do? I mean, if they turn into spiders, shoot them. We okay. capture them? Yeah, we could. We could. What do we have to capture them? Uh, we got Donald. The world. Don, Don, Donald, said they're, okay. Donald said they're all chained together, so. Ooh, so all we have to do is capture one. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. <gasps> yeah, we just capture one, tie it to the truck, then they all can't go anywhere. That's amazing. That's poor yeah. piece. And, th and then they'll be in the middle of the camp when they turn into spiders. Oh. <sighs> Well, what's terrible, though, is that they've been tainted by the Black Pharaoh, so they're no longer good and pure. How do we untaint them? Is there a, maybe a priest fellow, if he shows he can do something? A holy sacrament. Do you, does he have the supplies for that? I don't know. I didn't ask him while I was hitting the ceiling on fire. We, we have wine. Yes, we could sir. use that. <laughs> we have wine as part of we our, have our, our thing. body of Christ. <laughs> crackers, crackers should do. Oh, we have wine, we have bread. I just give yeah. Donald a look like crackers. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, un unleavened bread is what it has to be. Uh, crackers. That's, okay, I'm gonna let it go. I've let a lot of stuff go. That's not the one that I'm gonna, that's not the sticking point here. I, I, I was okay. genuinely, I was genuinely about to be very surprised that, that the, the, the sacrament that's was what you were thing. about to lose your I, I wanted a, I wanted a 20 minute discourse on transubstantiation. This is good. Really this is what I mean, I'm coming for here for. I mean, if, if 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 the belief is that it turns into the body, Jesus ate bread, right? I remember that loaves and fishes. Oh, that's right. Okay. okay. Mix the food. Oh, that's right. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying so hard to wind her up. <laughs> so can can we just five? Can just let's circle back to the fact that we have zombie spider people heading towards us, chained together. I'm going to glance. I'm going to glance over and see how much closer they are to us at this point. Why are they they're, coming here? They're Why not they making coming? a lot of progress. Trap. Once they it's hit trap. the, once they hit the, the 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 incline, now they're like very cautiously, like slowly do, climbing up. Do we just go get them? We've we've got time. We can give them an hour to come to us. It's fine. Do we want to go fetch our trap? Uh, not really. I'd like to take a nap before I deal with that. <laughs> Yes, you're not wrong. It's a trap nap. Huh. Kind of. I mean, I'd like yeah. to get a little sleep before I, you know, I mean, because again, who's going to watch them? Because they're up to no good. I know. Well, and I, and I don't think that whatever it is is entirely their fault, but you're right. They've been tainted by the Black Pharaoh and the thing that, yeah, anyway. 
I mean, I'm thinking all the things right now in my head. I'm thinking they turn into like the thing with the teeth and then, or they turn into a parrot shark or they turn, you know what I mean? I'm going through, or they turn into a spider or they turn it, you know. Oh, no. gonna, you're, you're going back to the beginning of our adventures here. Great. But wait, okay, what if we get them and we like stake them a little farther away from us and we could just feed them and stuff, but we could just stake them over there. How would like you an experiment. We, we're going to get them a tent at least and some fire or something to keep them warm. And how, how would And how would you like to explain chaining people to posts to the rest of them? Uh, they'll hear them if nothing well, else. They were already chained. <laughs> That doesn't change my question. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, then we They're have not to gonna be able them. to see them. They Let's won't be able to see them. No, hear them. Put them in a separate location for the, rest of the group. We'll keep an eye on them. Uh, treat them like human people. And uh, maybe the priest will fix them up later if we ever find that fella. Yeah. Are they human people? Who knows, but I don't know. Emma, is there anything you can do? Anything you, you learn from the church to, to find these things out? I'm sorry, when did I become the zombie resurrectionist? <laughs> you're, you're like the oh, oh, wait, there oh. Was do you have, you don't have any holy water, do you? Have you blessed some well, water we could I throw do. at them? Well, wait a minute. No, I don't. I emptied that so I could put some liquor in there because we're in Egypt. Oh, God. Knocking yeah. approximately anyway. no one. I mean, that's the Don Julio gig. If he makes it I here. just, yeah. I just enjoyed the fact that Emma said, when did I become the zombie person? And Don's like, well, you were at the Vatican for a week. <laughs> you must have <talked> something. <laughs> zombie Jesus. All right, here's, here's, <laughs> yeah, here's, here's what I'm going to suggest then. Um, I'm, I think that we should uh, get them up here. God help us. Where, do, where, where else are they going to go? They're coming straight at us. Let's put them in a tent. We'll just put them up and feed them or whatever. Let them, let them be. Watch them. Keep an eye on them. But we also go. They've already got a back. chain, so I say we chain them to the tent then. But then we go and check the pyramid. No, not, not go inside. You didn't no. let me finish my sentence. Check it for what? Whatever sent them out. It was inside that pyramid? They came out the door. <sighs> the Black Pharaoh sent them out. Clearly. The Black Pharaoh possessed Spider Agatha. Gross. Oh, oh. Oh, we just place. lost somebody. Oh, <laughs> Nick, Nick, Nick Nen's up his back. Are we in the right spots? Nope. Yep. Nope. Everybody got shifted oh. one. Joan is in charge. Joan, take it away. <laughs> All right. Is, is Joan the keeper wait, now? Wait, hold on. Who am I? I'm playing? ready. Okay, I'm Dr. Hollister, so I'm not in yep. this. Game. And Donald, you're Joan <laughs> Lamb. Cool. Nice. Cameo. Cool. You get a cameo here. Who am I? <laughs> You're uh, still Alexandra. Like you yeah. and I are boring. We're still ourselves. Right. We're constants. Of yes, course we're still ourselves. We're constants. I thought I was a oh no, wait, Joe. Okay, so I, I, I am, so that's why I'm the keeper. While I'm right, I cast some and dole, I'm gonna bind the thing and we're gonna destroy everything. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's it's all roll be. luck. <laughs> I roll sanity I mean, right now. I'm not going near the pyramids. I'm not I don't want sanity. The <laughs> oh, sanity is restored. It's all bad. There's no answer. Like, what do we do? Ooh. Tie them to the truck and put it? Uh, we just keep them on their guard, keep them on their watch, and wait for the trap to be sprung. Well, we're going to have to have a watch say. tonight anyway. So Exactly. So you guys are cutting into my nap time. <laughs> let's, let's, let's finish eating. I really want to go check the pyramid, but I will... About a wisdom on this one. Thank you. All right. So about an hour later, grumpy noises. Um, you hear the clanking of chains. Oh, here they come. <laughs> and you hear a, um, you hear a, a, a sad voice saying, "Please, please help us." So I, I fake Uh-oh. Emma voice. They're like, hi, how have you been? <laughs> like, like the, like the customer service Emma comes out and she's like, hi, how are you? Can I get you something to eat and drink? Come this way and like usher them. For eternal salvation, press one. Pretty much. Uh, all right. Um, they they are like they start crying. 
um, these it's okay. And I try not and... to like touch them, but comfort them. Be like, <laughs> um, and the the four other people are like, is oh, why, um, Mrs. Singh? Is that you? Is that they're like recognizing people, and so the two groups are intermingling. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. You know what? And I try and separate the two and just be like, you know what? They've walked in the desert the whole day. They didn't get the ride. Let's, let's, let's let them eat. Why don't the rest of us go to bed? Like try and just separate the groups. I, you know, I want the tent over here that they can use. It's tent right here. It's an empty tent, perfect for them to uh, take naps and, or whatever. Um, but, but that, and a, a, a gentleman in the eight says, but, but that's my wife. Sir, you need medical attention. You've been out in the desert all day. Why can't I see? That's why I need medical attention. Exactly. Why can't any of us see? Evil, evil has worked in mysterious ways, and we are here to combat that. Cool. Um, one of the four people goes, you, you keep saying that. What do you think made, what do you think is making us blind? Are you blind too? In many ways. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use an inspiration. Ah. Darn. Oh, cause it's gonna hurt. I'm gonna use the substitute D4 as the inspiration. <laughs> oh, it's gonna hurt. Just like a D4 oh. in the bottom of the foot. Ought four. I should use inspiration more often. Man. Um, that, how did we get out here? Who drove this truck if you're all blind? Not all blind. The, 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 the doctor, doc, you're Dr. Lamb, right? Dr. Yes. Lamb was not blind. Dr. Lamb was not with us in the room when this happened, when the great evil came upon us in the warehouse. So, so only one of us can see. I can see, yes, that's how I got the truck out here. That's how mm -hmm. we're all going to get to where we need to go. Well, and who else? The, you, the two of you were in the warehouse as well, Young lady, you, oh, you, told us, you told us that we needed to come out here to go on a pilgrimage. What, uh, and that we would, this would be a, a righteous journey. What, why, Evil we're God. here now, what, why are we here? What do we need to do? How can we help you if we are blind and you are blind? Sacrifice my friends, and this is just the first one. There is more to come. And then I get up like on a box just because it's gonna make me feel better even though nobody can see me. A um, soap box? Perhaps. <laughs> Alexandria is metaphorically making popcorn. <laughs> yeah, and you're just like, um, that this is the first trial and the first tribulation that we will face against this great evil. This is an ancient evil. This evil has lived time and time again in eons beyond what we know. <laughs> this evil must be stopped. It has been stopped in the past and it must be stopped today. And if we do not stop it today, there is no tomorrow. And so we must push through this blindness. And then I reference my, <laughs> like the freedom speech from. <laughs> Tell them about Job. <laughs> yeah, mention Job. Um, and if we do not face this evil. Let's get him singing. Yeah, and then, yeah, exactly. That's a great idea, Joan. That is a great idea. Nothing but a hymn bolsters, bolsters confidence, bolsters a, uh, the sense of belonging. Um, and so I'm going to start singing. May yeah, exactly. Yeah. Unicorn. Yeah, you start singing, singing things. Grace, <laughs> how sweet. And then just we all. Yeah. Hallelujah. Um, when you start singing, like, you notice, like, Alex, like, how does that, Alexander, there is music going on around you. It's it's in a it's in a key and 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 a tune that she'd be able to follow still with with, with her new voice. So after a moment, she and I mean this is an old song. This is one that she grew up on too. And so she she hums it for a moment and and, fi and finding where the key is in her new voice and then starts singing as well. All right, yeah, pretty soon and, and, everybody's and, 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 and it's very yep. comforting because it's very much like this is something that I sang with my mother when I was a child. Um, the... Donald joins in quietly. But... Sings a lot. 
the um yeah the the people will all start singing along they they are they are clearly inspired they still want to like mingle together the the four and the eight um fine fine i give in well and i think i think we're going to have to let them if only because it's easier to keep watch that way otherwise we're split in the watches um and so the song ends and everyone's really happy and the guy who um whose wife is one of the four says why are we still in chains let me work on that let's see if we have something in the truck to un unbind you so i'm sorry Emma, i can't find anything in the truck that might work <laughs> the 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 man who sent us here mm -hmm. said that you would be able to help us wait but who is the man the man who he was he was sort of nice in a mean sort of way or mean in a nice sort of way i'm not sure which i'm not the fucker again whoa 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 i mean did he have a spanish accent no 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 okay did he sound extraordinarily arrogant yeah 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 Um, and, I, and, the, and the four of us just all look at each other. He he told us that you would be able to help us, and then he gave us a choice. He said we could stay with him and be safe, or we could come back to our loved ones and face the greatest danger of all. I, I, I grab the man's hands and I tell him, I, I hate to break it to you, but you've had an encounter with the great evil. That was Satan? Yes, he goes by many names. He, he disguises himself and tells us that he is the Black Pharaoh. I mean, Black Pharaoh, Hooven, Hooven Goat Man. Hooven Goat Man? <laughs> I'm trying to think of like witchcraft, like, what was the devil? I, whatever. The Black I don't know. Goat in the <laughs> what was that? Good old split hoof. The, the Black Goat in the forest. That's yes. it. The Black Goat. Black the Black Goat. goat. Yep. The, it's a forest. Um, yeah. Old Scratch. Yeah. Yep, exactly. All those cursed names. You're like using all these names that like Egyptian Christians have never heard of. Yeah, exactly. Um, many, many names around the world. Mm -hmm. I, uh, but, well, and that's the issue with him. He is arrogant. He feels that he will win this battle. And he feels that, and again, I'm using the word feels instead of knows that by his side, you will be safe, but what will happen is by his side, you will be his slave and we will not be free and we will not win this Independence Day. Circling it back to the church. Yeah, you do. Um, but you can't get the chains off of us. But, but... Well, let me ask my- Can I take a look again. at him? If only somebody yeah, had a crowbar. Say. Yeah, I was gonna say, can I take a look at him? Emma, no, don't use the crowbar. Emma, do you want me to? Do you, don't look at Emma because they're blind. So maybe she, your facial expression should tell me. I'm like, give me, give me a yes or no here. Um, she, so let me do. Let me actually do a little holy water spritzing and just be like, bless you, my child. Bless you, my child, and see what happens. I got a lock pick kit. I'll use my lock picks. And yeah, Emma's worried you were pulling out the gun when you like, <laughs> Emma, should I? Um. You, yeah, you put some holy water on them and nothing seems to. Okay. All right, so I'll, I'll lock pick the locks off and. All right, thing. yeah, you, it's, it, it's no problem to unlock these chains uh, and they, they, they thank you and they go and they, uh, they, they sort of all gather together and, um, you know, you, you can send them to their little tent and they will be happy to, uh, you know, they, mm -hmm. They see. It seems like the singing and and at least some of Emma's raving has had positive effects on um, their 
or negative effects on their sanity, I guess, because they're sticking around. You know, that's. Well, they made uh, the right choice. <laughs> did they, though? I mean, did we make the right choice? Because, again, they're just going to kill us in our sleep. Emma, and that look on my shoulder. What other choice do we have, Emma? What, what else? Can I we... don't know. We need to take, we'll need to take watches and yeah. split them up two hour, two hours a person. That's the easiest way that we're going to get through this. No, why, exactly. why don't we, I hate to say this, but let's do two people per watch because one person alone is, is just too dangerous. I know it's I That's not a lot of sleep. That's I know, but we'll That's sleep during the, the sun, but I mean, we can only watch so much sand by ourselves in the middle of the night out here. If someone falls asleep, it's over. Do we have the doctor's cocaine? <laughs> no, sadly. I the bag of stimulants is with the doctor. I think he took his stuff with him. So, so if he got eaten by one of those tunneling things, well, that'll be a very well-stimulated tunneling thing. Yep. <laughs> Tunnels. <laughs> no, I just, I just got to dig one more. That's all. That's all. I, I, I agree that, too, keeping watch will be easier to stay awake, but I think that doing four, only getting four hours of sleep will be hugely detrimental for us in the morning. What else are we doing in the morning, frankly? There's nothing. We'll be lying here. It's after I, midnight right now. It is not. Oh, I thought you said, OK. Oh. Midnight is when oh. uh, they're going to get here. Yeah, we nothing is going to happen. But we could continue to watch because, and again, my math is not the best math ever, but don't we start the ritual tomorrow afternoon? Yes, tomorrow when the moon at moonrise. Yeah. All right, assuming the area is clear. So we have another 12 hours to continually watch and rest. We can, we can take naps thinking? during the daytime. We can nap during the daytime. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that sounds good. And well, also keep in mind there's nowhere cool really to rest except in the pyramids. We ran into that the last time we were here. Uh, inside the truck should work for a few hours until the sun gets too hot. Until it's done, so it, start, it hits about noon. Right. So at least for the morning hours, we can use the truck. Yeah. All right. Well then, um, does anyone, do, do we want to do some first aid on people before we start getting some rest? People got hurt earlier, yeah? I'm fine. Just give him a look. Are you? Well, let's, we can talk about it. You guys have your own tent over there, right? Sure. <laughs> fine, I'll kick your ass later. How about, how about you two? I'm fine. If you could look at where was I shot again? In my shoulder? Yeah. In my arm. Just yeah, I'll like just trust my brain, my whatever, because I'm down one hit point technically. So okay, I'll I'll come over and do first aid on her. Sure. Yeah, I'm not that kind of doctor. <laughs> I'm um, not a doctor, full stop. <laughs> yeah. Both of our doctors are like all right, okay. yeah, you'll get your point yeah, back. That's back. no problem. Okay. You'd get it back from rest. Well, you're yeah. probably not getting much rest. Yeah. So um some first aid. So it is going to be now the night of June 4th. So it's actually two days until the ritual. Right, because it's the night of June The 6th. ritual is the 6th. Yeah. Uh, this, the 5th, is when Clive was going to do... And we're hoping that, that Don Julio will arrive and be able to do... Something. His version of it. Um... So yeah, it's, you know, it's getting on towards midnight and um, there are now a, um, there's, you know, there seems to be people down by the, you see torches down by the, um, down by the pyramids. Oh no. So and my rifle scope, I'll see what do we have as far as numbers, what are they carrying? Um, it looks like uh, a bunch of cultists uh, they don't seem to be carrying weapons, um, and they they seem to be um, carrying stuff up the pyramid. Like on the side of the pyramid? Yeah, they're climbing up to the top of the pyramid. How many of them are there? Climbing right now, there's about six. Well, we could, we could take those six if it's only them. But they're, our problem, of course, is capstone goes on the top, and it caps the pyramid. And it's a, maybe that's what they're doing. They're doing something about the top. Trying to, trying to keep us from being able to put it there? Perhaps. Maybe. Do we go deal with them? Well, 
the, they're sitting ducks on the side of that pyramid. Maybe I can start working on it. And if, uh, as they scramble, you can clean it up. Sure. But just keep, let's wait. If there's only six. If there's more, I don't want to start shooting. So no, there, there are six guys climbing up, but there are a bunch of guys down around the pyramid. What, what, what are the numbers total? What are we looking at? You'd say down on the ground, they seem to be coming out of the pyramid. Um, out of both pyramids, I should say. And you see at least a dozen guys. What I wouldn't give right now for some for some dynamite. Right. Didn't we have some from Italy though? No. Oh, we had some. I remember. Uh, you know some. what doesn't ship well intercontinentally? <laughs> <Yeah>. Probably not. <laughs> we, 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 we had a lot, of, a lot of very interesting stuff, but we had to leave it in Italy. We could fashion some other bomb perhaps. But I don't know if we have the supplies for it. There is fuel, diesel fuel in the back of this truck I could use. Does that that burns? Does that explode? Yeah, yeah it doesn't really. It's more of a long fire, but uh, if it's some combustible materials, I don't know. Maybe uh, some form of a. I mean, I guess it, I, I suppose it depends on how formidable we think they are. If they're, I mean, they're a ways. Would you be able to hit them from here with your rifle? It's a hard, not an easy shot here. I, can, I, I might be able to, but not the wind conditions. How, how windy is it, by the way? Uh, it's not that windy. You you actually feel like, you know, the problem is you can shoot one and then two right. and then three. And, you know, if they, um, you're not even sure they don't, they don't that they don't already know where you are and they're just kind of ignoring you, given that these people were told to walk towards you. Yeah. And they're coming out of both pyramids, which means that there's something in that pyramid Either they're staying in the pyramid or there's a portal in each of the pyramids. They might be doing some ritual up there. Oh God, what was that? What was that story that fellow told? Remember this? Uh, the way um, he told about seeing this ritual performed in front of the pyramid, the one that they used to bring him back. Van Hooven. That's right. The story about, and actually so did Brass. Jack Brady also told you know, they saw some awful things happen. Uh, then there's some beast at the top of the pyramid and all these creatures coming from the ground and the cultists are killing themselves and being devoured. And uh, all this is other horrible nonsense. So if Do we... I hear that? Yep. Okay. Um, I think it was sacrifice is what I turn and say, because I'm trying to remember my dream of blood running down Oh boy. Running oh boy. You told me I, that. Even if I shoot them, I don't know if it would change. The, I think it's, they were it's, like ants. Right. There were so many of them that only fire and brimstone could wipe out all. We're bringing it back way, way back now. Yeah. Like yeah. way back. God, I'm trying to remember all of this. This is before I took I know me too. I was like, where is this again? <laughs> And I'm trying to flash back because I was on a train and then I just go into like this weird random like, let me tell you about the time that I had this dream about me being on a train and I saw nothing but sand, endless sand. I mean, if there was a train here, that'd be fantastic. Is this but before I met you, this that you had this dream? Or? Yes. This is when I used to read books and put masks on. Don't do that anymore. Yeah, not advisable. <laughs> I, don't. I mean, I mean, my my instinct is that if we if we start killing them now, it won't be the proper sacrifice, and that might help. But how many can we kill? How many bullets do you have? How 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 much can I stab before my arms give out? Bullets is not the problem. It's time. I don't know if I can shoot enough before they they make it to our position. It's just two of us. I could help, but I, I just just shooting people. But they are cultists. Cultists. <sighs> Shooting people who do. have turned themselves over to the Black Pharaoh and will be used to bring him more power. Are we Joan, certain that Joan, it, do you think well, that you have learned in all of your studies and all your crazy readings and what's not? Is there anything that you can do right now about this? That's a good question. Because I've made some things to keep us safe, 
I haven't really made a lot of things that would hurt other beings. I can call maybe bind a dole. So what is that? It's it's like a big sandworm. Oh. It can make big holes. Oh, okay. I think I know what you mean. It, it'll eat exactly. people in the sand, right? And just exactly. devour them from the sand. That would made that earthquake. That thing was huge. And that's that's one of the thing the ways that it, you can get places um, without having to be on top of the earth. Uh, but Alex, we, we saw one of those worms that ate um, Clive. Mm -hmm. Joan, would, can you control these things? If I could concentrate, I should be able to, but I don't know if I can make him eat anything. Well, but can lead a worm which, to cultists. I was like, hang on a second. Which pyramid are the cultists going up? Uh, the red pyramid, the one that you want to. Yeah. I, I'm afraid oh. if we start shooting them and, it, and blood comes down, that's good enough. That's our, that's on our hands. Yeah. Right. But if, if the worm eats them, they'll devour them entirely. They'll be in the belly of it. There'll be no blood. It's worth a shot. Well, it, but it might destroy part of the pyramid too. And we need that to stay in place so that we can put the capstone on it. Yeah. I don't think we can uh, fix a whole pyramid like we could fix the capstone. Yeah. We couldn't fix the, the sphinx when that went. Oh, the sphinx is destroyed. By the way, mm -hmm. sorry. Yeah, but the pyramid can't grow legs, come alive, walk around, and like kill an army. So there's that. Not with that attitude. Exactly. <laughs> Unless, Joan, I, I can shoot some of the ones on the on the pyramid. Um, if you can take care of all the ones down in the valley, uh, oh, or at least scatter them. No, we shouldn't shoot anybody because in my dream, all the blood was running down the pyramid. It was just a river of blood, just constant blood. Thousands and thousands of cultists and bloodshed. Well, well there's not a thousand out there. There's maybe about 14. What if, what if we shot the ones who are on the ground? They wouldn't be on the pyramid to bleed on it. That works too. And then the, if I get a dole, it can... I don't want it to get near the pyramid, though. It, it would be able to eat the ones on the ground, but if it tries to go under the pyramid, we may have trouble. I don't, I don't. I think. What other options do we have here? No, we're, we're running, you're right. We're running out of time. We're running out of time. And it doesn't matter what happens to me. It just doesn't matter. I'm falling apart anyway. Where did, where, totally where did that apart. come from? No. Yeah, we're all falling apart. So we're, but that's just, Let's just do what you can do, but don't, don't kill yourself over it. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> don't kill myself over <laughs> uh, What do you think's been happening this whole time? We have, we have six months until, until the eclipse. We need, to, we need to keep ourselves together as much as possible until that time. <clears throat> and, and, and by then we will have either saved the world or died trying, or, you know, the world will be, the, will be destroyed around us. Right, so Are more cultists coming out or is it just like the 14? No, there seem to be like, it's this, there's a lot of activity down there. People are going out, they're coming in. All right, all right, all right, wait, wait, all right. Wait, all right. Wait, can somebody get me a cult, let's get a cultist robe. Let's get four cultist robes. What, like this ghost level? Those people who came up, they were wearing robes. Yeah, yep. sure. See if we can get the robes from them. Tell them that they're not unclean. Um, Emma, what are you saying, Emma? What are you saying? Go down there. Infiltrate the enemy. <laughs> and be, when they do this ritual, we'll be in the middle of it. Okay. All right, Ezra, I don't have it written down. Everything I need for the, the binding the dole ritual. Do I have that in a book? You're, you're, uh, you need very little. You need a dole. So, you know, first it's summon dole. Yeah. And then it is bind dole. And most of it, they're, they're not like, this one isn't a ritual. The summon is a little bit of a ritual, but it's just, you know, you can make a circle in, uh, in the sand. You'll need a little bit of salt, which you can easily get from your yeah. supplies. But the bind part is not a, um, is not a ritual. I need a little of my blood too for that, right? 
blood magic is always the way. Yeah. I mean, let's just evaluate our options. Here are some problems. Um, we're basing this on the fact that Clive is dead and Don Julio is our only hope. You've met the man. He's a little crazy. Good point. Uh, we have we have no room to throw stones in that regard. We don't, but also I don't know for certain that Don Julio is here to do the ritual. We did not have words. Again, he lit me on fire, put put me on the ceiling of the boat, like put me to the roof of the boat. So like we're not really on speaking terms. I didn't say, hey bud, what you doing here? He's like, oh hey, how are you? You know, we're, let's catch up, have a cocktail, blah blah blah. None of that. It was bleh, and then everything was on fire, and then the next thing you know, he's gone. <laughs> Right. I love, I, I truly adore the way that you describe things. This to is how point. it all plays in Emma's head. It's <laughs> really just, it's a very different version of the world that happens in my brain. Um, so there's that. I can only hope that Don Julio will show up and save us. But if he doesn't, then what? Then well, what? Clive was going to do some horrible summoning, right? To like kill everything around the pyramid. That plan's always off the table. So the question then is, is that what Joan is going to do? And, and, and well, and if it is, we can afford to wait a day, right? Because we don't start the ritual until not tomorrow night, but the night after. Right. Well, yes, but darling, they're about to do some horrible ritual right now. Are they? And not only that, didn't we, ha did, wasn't it the fact that it had to be cleansed before our ritual, which means that within this next 24 hour period before we have to cleanse it and then we can do our ritual. Yeah, Clive was gonna do his bit the morning of the fifth. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. To give it like 20, to give it a full, a long time between. But even even if we started whatever, whatever Joan can do at like the afternoon of the fifth, there'll still be a solid 24 hours before we have to start the ritual. Mm -hmm. We can find out, we can, we can watch what they're doing, but they, they all see us. Uh, it, if they do something horrible, we may not be able to stop it. They may summon something before we can summon something, and then we're we're we're, we're screwed. So, do we start shooting and summoning whatever it is that Joan can summon? Well, I'll, I'll shoot. That's not a problem. I'll shoot regardless. I'm I'm certain of it. But, uh, All right, giant sandworm. Now, um, the summoning will take a little bit. Okay, so. All right. So How much is a little bit? Because if they start shooting, I'm not going to have a lot. I'll, I'll wait till after the summoning. I'm, I'm yeah, gonna... it's. I mean, it's it's probably a half an hour of chanting. Okay. All right. Assuming that if, if it takes about that long to chant and summon, you're not going to send it up on the pyramid, right? No. I can get up on 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 the pyramid, and start dealing with the people up there. You'll you'll be trapped up there while this thing, this giant sandworm, is roaming around the sands beneath you. I'll be. I'll well, be and not only that. I'll be trapped on this what about the that. what about the rest of us what do you mean i can i can make the thing stay down there it, it's not going to come up here okay and i don't know how the sandworm thing works and it's not going to come up on the pyramid because john doesn't want it to a right. binding works i bind it i sum it i bind it and i tell it what to do and that being the case it won't come up on the pyramid you won't send it up on the pyramid because we don't want to deal with that i start dealing with the people who are on the pyramid you're putting yourself in a hell of a risk here for what? For helping to cleanse the area. I don't know. It's the only way. I mean, the only other way is light everything on fire. That cleanses everything. I love this idea, but I don't think pyramids burn. <laughs> I wish we had a way to light it all on the fire. But the people who are on them do. That's a fair point. How do we get the fire to them? Carefully. Bicycles and grenades. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we come back around to that. Done. Always the answer. Don't have it. Don't have time to get it. Well, and I I can move quietly through it through the dark. I can I can get there without them seeing me. But uh, let me know the path you're taking. I'll keep an eye out for you. If something happens, I'll, I've got you. Got your back. I'll, I'll come up the up the opposite side of the pyramid. Understood. So right. the timing on this is you want to be up the pyramid when Joan is finished with the summoning. Yes. And then when the summoning happens, you're going to start shooting Donald? I might. Depends on the situation. What I see. Okay. Um, Emma, what is your role in this whole sure not to fail plan? <laughs> <laughs> I 
then touch Thanks nothing. So touch nothing. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, uh, uh, Professor Lamb, make me a POW roll. Ooh, 13. That's a great roll. All right. Um, that's, that's not quite an ultimate. All right, so um, there is a, um, you, um, you have, you have a, a weird moment where um, it's almost like satellite thing where you, you like are above everything and you see like throughout, throughout Africa, there are, well actually, yeah, throughout, you can see about a hundred miles around you. There are two of these things that are just like burrowing through, uh, uh, through the earth and you reach out to one of them and you have bound it to your will and you send it towards you and it is zooming along. Dr. Hollister, make me a luck roll. Six. I think that's I make a great it. roll. All right. So um, you and Don Julio are continuing forward, and you hear a very familiar rumbling, and you like stop, and one of those it's things gotcha. bursts through the wall, like maybe 20 feet in front of you, and continues burrowing in. Uh, um, sort of almost a perpendicular direction away from you. Uh, I'm going to make a uh, sand roll for Don Julio, and he's surprisingly fine with all this. Uh, you should I, also make a sand roll for yourself. I, I am having very strong, girthy flashbacks. That could have been a fumble. But it's just a failure. Oh, ooh, a failure. Well, We can inspire that. Mm -hmm. yep. oh, yeah. Put that up there. Second inspiration for that. Oops. I should have inspired Don Julio's to fail. Uh, yeah, I make it now. All right. Well, that is a that is very lucky. You only lose two sanity versus the five, the magic number. Uh, and so, uh, and as it rumbles through, Don Julio turns to you and he says, we must follow that abomination. I mean, I think, I think going straight will take us to the pyramid where the evil is, but, but if your heart's set on it. Oh, it's not the pyramid. It's around the pyramid that we must cleanse the evil from. I will defer to your judgment. I'm here to help you. Why don't more people say that? Let's go. Uh, and, and you guys head off. Um, all right, so... Alexander, you are the knight. You sneak up. Uh, well, actually, make me a stealth roll. Let's just let's just uh, ask, let's just establish that you are the knight. All right, yeah. Fine. You sneak up. You know, at one point, you you stab a poor unsuspecting guard. You come up behind him. You kill him. You have climbed up uh, the pyramid. Uh, by the way, one last giveaway. Hashtag chaos. Ooh. Uh, for a final copy of the Call of Cthulhu coloring book for the people who st have stuck around with us this whole time. Uh, we really appreciate you guys being here. Uh, I mean, I didn't have anywhere else to go, but you know, thank <laughs> you for being here. And so hashtag chaos for that last one. Um, so you have made it up there and Donald, you are covering her the whole way. I'm overwatch. Um, and uh, Joan, the the dole gets there, and what are you telling it to do? I'm telling it to go uh, basically in front of the pyramid and open, like just open, uh, 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 come up out and open its mouth. So I'm just going to make it go in front of the pyramid. Okay. Uh, it, Whatever's there, it's his, it's theirs. Don't leave yet, Eldebrat. You got a few more minutes. Don't leave yet. Come on. All right. So the uh, a San Tiana uh, uh, and Donald are and J and Emma uh, see this a massive, horrible creature 
bursts out of the sand and devours three or four cultists. And then almost like a, a whale kind of beaching just goes blah, back into the sand and it passes like through the sand almost like nothing. Um, and all of you should make sanity rolls because that mm -hmm. was terrible. Mm -hmm. All of us? Listen to me, was oh, it? Oh, no, not you, Joan. You're, okay. you're fine with this. Thank you. Uh, you guys I'll need a boost. <laughs> boost. I'll, I'll take boost. it. All right. Let's inspire. I like it. I like it. I'll take another shot at this. Here we go. All right. Yep. Inspired. Ooh, I got. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh -oh. Did you, uh -oh. Emma? Uh -oh. 100. Yes! He's he, touching could not, all the... he could not have asked for a better birthday oh, present. God. Oh, man. This all right. Um, will burn. Um, all right. So two things are going to happen. Uh, the question uh, is... Where am I running to? Into the fray or away from the fray? <laughs> away. True. Get away. It's true. Um, so I mean, I was super angry last time. <laughs> all right. So Emma, uh, that horrible beast, it, it's under you. Where can you go that is safe? The pyramid, and I can stab my nemesis the dark pharaoh all in one fell swoop. It's the best idea ever. I will end this nightmare once and for all. Vengeance is mine. Independence will be had. The prophecy has been fulfilled. I all right, yeah. So, um, uh, uh, Joan, you are busy concentrating on the worm. <laughs> Donald, you are busy like trying to follow Alexandra with right. her scope. Right. Nobody notices as Emma <laughs> goes and just jams down the, the, the pyramid. Um, and you, Emma, are not the knight, but you are insane. And so as you are climbing up the pyramid, you're just throwing guys off. Um, so there are two guys that you just come up behind. Yeah, I'm like, I have had a dark pharaoh. I am coming for you. Like just- You are three quarters up the pyramid when you see Alexandra reach the top of the pyramid where the capstone would be. And Alexandra, you look down and there is a large single eye looking right up at you. My eyes go about this big. <laughs> and you hear a very, very familiar voice say, huh, not the bride I was expecting, but I'll take it. And that's where we're gonna end tonight. Oh, should we roll? Should yeah, we roll? Yeah. Give away, give away that last, we've okay. got one last copy here. <laughs> Hashtag right, chaos, last chance. Hang on, so I'll give it 30 seconds. Hashtag chaos, last chance for uh, 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 getting that in there. Um, thank you so much for uh, uh, being here tonight for the insane amount of bits that I could not spend. Mighty and Meepo. The Mighty Meepo, didn't he just win? No, Elder Brat just won. Oh, sorry. You're right, and the Muffin Mighty Meeple. I was about to say Muffin Mage, which then carried us into the cake versus muffin discussion. <laughs> <laughs> I will never right. forget Mighty that Meeple, muffin. congratulations. Uh, whisper your contact information to uh, Quests and Chaos, and we will get you that copy of the Call of Cthulhu uh, coloring book. Uh, friends, every year for my birthday, I spend the day with people I love doing things I love. This year, because of a quarantine, I didn't get a chance to do that, but this was pretty darn close. Thank you guys for playing. Thank you community for being awesome uh, and giving me so many bits that I couldn't possibly spend them all. Uh, thank you for making this a, a really great birthday. Uh, so don't forget Monday, it's Dragon of Ice Spire Peak, and I think we're giving away another deck that day, Thomas said. There's Probably, a we've plus we have, we, I have a dragon pin for the one dragon. Look at that. We yeah. have a dragon <laughs> pin. It's just one dragon pin. That's all. Yep. Are we announcing the big giveaway? The big giveaway yep. will be announced mm -hmm. on Monday as well. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> apparently, 
uh, my yell did not go well for some of them. <laughs> my excitement at the uh, fumble did not go well for some. Uh, Apologies sorry. to headphone users. There was yeah, a lot of shouting uh, uh, today. <laughs> yeah, the podcast is going to love that, I'm sure. Uh, and um, Monday, so Monday, it's Dragon of Ice Bear Peak. Tuesday, it's the Chaos Agents. Saturday, we are back here to celebrate, apparently, Tiana's upcoming nuptials. No. Cool. <laughs> oh, I have a dress for it and everything. And, <laughs> no. you know, Alexandra no. wanted to get married, but not like this. <laughs> Uh, this would be quotes, awesome. Our quotes from today, uh, I'm assuming terrible things are happening. Uh, I, I like this one. I'm gritty and nasty, but I'm not covered in blood. Uh, they're not, they're, they are, there are not great popping scenarios. You know? uh, how dare you do that to my human sacrifices? <laughs> uh, don't try to slit a spider's throat. <laughs> Gotta this one could man. get us in trouble. You don't go down the hole. Uh, I hate the sentence, we're going to have to split up. <laughs> uh, they've convinced me he knows what he's doing. Uh, uh, probably the winner, despite what it might do to us. If he doesn't die, he'll be fine. <laughs> I think that's probably the... I thought it was, when I first heard it, I thought it was, if he dies, he'll be fine. <laughs> Which is Very actually nice. Very the Catholic, best way for Cthulhu. You know. Such an um, untrue statement, too. There, I will not be fine <laughs> if I live either way. Right. Uh, I also liked this one. I think we should have talked with him, not just kill him. Eh. I don't read the books anymore. Uh, those things I wish a player had told us more about. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, I'm a fan of, I can't take any more exorcisms. That was good. Uh, do we want to go and fetch our trap? Ho Hoven goat man. <laughs> and I don't think pyramids can burn, but the people on them can. I think if he doesn't die, he'll be fine is probably the winner. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it works yep. in so many have, ways. Yep, and we have 18 bits. One. Yep, we have 18, 18 bits that go into the boy wow. for next that, time. So that, that, that is crazy. Uh, uh, you're, uh, thank you. So, I mean, and it wasn't just bits. The subscriptions were amazing. Yeah. And uh, Thomas reminded folks in the, uh, in, in the chat, but I just want to say it for YouTube. Uh, we are super close to 3,000 YouTube subscribers. And well, I say super close. I don't actually know how close, but I'm assuming we're close because Thomas mentioned it. Uh, but when we get 3,000 YouTube subscribers, we are going to do a giveaway of a wooden dice box that is being made by our very own Squeal the Bard, who is something of a handy craftsman, which has, is- Has already been made and is in my possession. I just need to get it to, to the studio. Ooh, do you have it? Can you hold it up? Is this- It's, that, it's out in the car, man, right. sorry. Uh, uh, but so when we get to 3000 subscribers, we're giving away that wooden dice box. It's super nice. And YouTube, you have a chance to win uh, a Call of Cthulhu coloring book the first person to put in the YouTube comments what the contest was for uh, the TV show, the between the two PIs in the TV show Riptide uh, will win it. Uh, I think that's, that's all there is to say, mm -hmm. except goodbye, internet friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, hang on. I have to actually end the show. Sorry, everybody. But